Good afternoon from the 104.5 The Zone Studios. I'm Joe Hunk. Free agency legal tampering has started, and it is a fire hose coming out of the league as the Titans have already made some ways by signing or agreeing to sign ex-quarter Cowboys running back Tony Pollard to a three-year, $24 million deal. Also, the Titans have announced that they are going to be signing Lloyd Cushenberry, the former Denver Broncos center. Now, it's not all amazing because one big name that is now a former Titan has just announced. Sources are saying that Danico Autry plans on signing with the Houston Texans and now former Titans cornerback Sean Murphy Bunting is our supposed to be signing with the Arizona Cardinals. For all your foundation repair and waterproofing needs, you need to visit USSTN.com. Breaking news at once on your home for the Vols, the flagship station for you, Tennessee Titans, as well as home to 3HL. This is 104.5 The Zone. Three H one zero four five. The zone. Brent Doherty with you on a beautiful and busy NFL Monday. Now, all of these things will not be official until Wednesday at three o'clock Central. But there is so much out there. Correct. Don Davenport is here, wearing her Carolina blue sweatshirt. It is not. Stop it. That is bunk. Don't you ever say that again. I will come across this table and swift kick you. I mean, it kind of oh y'all right. It's now. March. You listen here, I'm Ron sorry. Slate. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to get I'm personal sorry. with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I but I'm going to step back and not bring up <laughs> the other team that I despise in Kentucky. Yeah, that's no. mm. right, cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Boy, I mean, we, we didn't get swept. <laughs> it's funny, like, when we broke what down the start? game. <laughs> when we broke down that game on Friday. Yeah. Like, right at the end, I go, well, I mean, if Kentucky shoots lights out, then. 15 to 29. That's what they did. Shot lights Ooh. out. 7 to 10 for mm-hmm. uh, Reed. Yeah, salute to him, man. Like, hey, tip ca- when it's your day, it's your day. They, tip may play, roll. they may play again Sunday for an SEC tournament final. Can you imagine oh, the ticket prices on the fun. secondary market for that? and rolling. That would uh, be fun. Yeah, so that that's one of the topic. There are additional things to the NFL that we will hit today, um, including three Vols named to the all-SEC team. Defensive player of the year, you called it. Yep. To Kyle Ziegler. Yep. First team all defense, first team all SEC for him. Yep. Dalton Connect. Sweep. SEC mm-hmm. Player of the Year, 10th Tennessee player to win the SEC Player of the Year. And you said about that Kentucky Tennessee game, first team to 85. What was the final? 85. 85 to 81. To 81. <laughs> Hit it on the nose. Good call on that one. All right. Uh, Titans information. If you want in, this is probably the first time and maybe the only, well, it definitely is the first time. Maybe the only time all day that the lines will be open. 615-737-1045. We have like no the guests. Titans checkbook. No guests today. Just uh, <laughs> tons of reaction to all of this NFL uh, information. Uh, if you could drink it in through a fire hose. 615-737-1045. Ron Slate is here. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. I'm happily in the building, too. Hi, Slay. What's up, Babsy? Any uh, voodoo donuts for you this weekend? No voodoo donuts for me. I lost three pounds, baby. I did, I did what I was supposed to do. Well, it's really four pounds because you would have gained a pound. This is actual. See, factual. this is how I do math. They had me way at Seagate, so I, if oh. it would have been a T, I would have been, yeah, been close. T for trouble. Yeah, exactly. And devil. <laughs> T for devil, too. So are you done going to Charlotte now? Nope. Sunday. Oh, NCAA tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lady Vols, uh, while we're there, lost in a heartbreaker. Lord of mercy. That's so much right there. That's I mean, a whole segment. We ain't got time for that. Don't even guard a play. I get that she had only attempted one three in her entire career, and that was her freshman year. Hadn't attempted one since. I don't care. But every player is a shooter with four seconds left. Anybody. Right? If you're on the court, you can score the ball if you get I, an opportunity to shoot the ball. I get trying to double team down low. I get that. but I don't. You, you don't? Okay. Because nope, there's only one shot that can beat you. Mm. That's a three-pointer. I don't get it. 
Mickey and Blaine do the right. ding dong of the week before us, and in the chat left over is ding dong goes to Kelly well, Harper. It, yeah, it's see, our just heard is Kelly Harper fired yet? Uh, her reaction when I mean she just dropped down to like, I mean just buckled down. Mm-hmm. That's tough. After that shot went in, because I mean she knew she knew she hmm. messed up there. Uh, all right, um, where do y'all want to start? SMB to let's let's start with the outgoing. Okay. Okay. SMB to the Arizona Cardinals. Danico Autry to the Texans. That makes, <laughs> as a Titan Titan fan, <laughs> gut punch. Outside <laughs> of like take out. Okay, Jeez. I'm gonna stop being professional right now. This yeah. is this is Dawn Fanatic. as a Titans fan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hunk, do you have the the beep sound? <laughs> What the beep, 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 beep. That, that team, you have to go to that. No. Yeah. No. I mean, that is a massive, massive loss for the Titans. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough one right there, man. I, you look at it and him, he's very comfortable in the division. We do know that. Uh, Yeah. And, he's, and, he, and he's got the chip on his yes, shoulder he and he's played very well. Now, I, the silver lining for me go is. Down. I know where you're going. Yep. Go is. Ahead. Okay, let me see what you are without Big Jeff. True. At let this me age. see that at this age. And the other silver lining is he is aging, and the Titans know all of his weaknesses, right? And on top of that, Babsy, I don't feel like this was a kick you out situation. No, it was a better it's move on offer, right? Yeah, move, yeah. I, yeah, better offer for you. A move on for us, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I, I, that's what I think. I it think hurt, with the it, Colts situation, I think hurts, that was a that, big difference. The Colts like was definitely was, a chip on the shoulder yeah. kind of thing. I, I'm not sure that he'll have that right. because the Titans rejuvenated yeah, his. Yeah, career. they did him right. They did him right. But you hate to see him go there, man. Like gosh, Hunk the is Texans. processing calls. Um, when he gets off the phone, he's got the money for Denise. Got the Audrey. money. What the money? I wish I had the money. All right, you would. Uh, Danico Autry had how many sacks last year for the Titans? Thirteen career yeah. high. He signed with the Texans for just two years and twenty million dollars. Two years, so, twenty million. So ten million per. Ten million per. I mean, he's thirty-four really? years old. That's a. That's 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 a. That's I, t- a I told you it was going to be. Hit. It was going to be interesting to see how he was dealt with. I thought that's because thought of the years. Good. I wonder what is, if his incentives and in, got to be incentive based. Huh? Too. He got, he got a ten point five million dollar ten point five of it's guaranteed. Okay, but only twenty million dollars after last season. That is surprising to me. Less, or although more? I think it's less. Okay. But I, I, don't, I, I feel like it's it's right there. You feel like it's yeah, right yeah, for his age because show of what his you can age. Do, yeah. And then we'll, you know, no real, the do with it. There's no real test case, right? No. Yeah. Like well, a guy that's 33 years old like that to have a career year. What do you do? It's yeah. Tough. And then, like Babsy said, like what you're working alongside. Right. Like they had a really, really good chemistry. Mm-hmm. It's it it's going to be fascinating to see how he does there. Hunk, will you check that? People are saying it's two years, ten million. No, so uh, so one website it says two years ten, but the but Tom Pelissero just said it's two years twenty million with ten point five guaranteed. Okay, yeah. I mean that would make more sense. Yeah, two years, two years, years ten. I'd nah, be like, why the heck is he not <laughs> yeah, in he'd be a here. Titans? Yeah, that, yeah, ain't no way. Yeah, when I first saw he it, I saw here. the two yeah. year ten million, and I went, "There's th- there's no way, there's no way." And then Pelissero because they wouldn't let million, him go. Or two years twenty million. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, more sense. Way, you know, it's a similar situation though. Uh, I mean, a little bit with Derrick Henry. I have no idea what What he's going to demand and what the market's going to be for him. Even with watching all of these other free agent running backs, I don't know. And it seemed like the tiers have been set. Saquon Barkley would be in first tier. By far. Second tier would be Pollard and Swift and those guys. Do we we know what Josh Jacobs got? Don't know yet. Okay, so he may be first tier. You know what I mean? Thinking about uh, So the difference with those guys and Derrick Henry, though, is Age. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Especially Saquon that Young, Jacobs Young, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, especially. Then, second tier, you got these guys. These guys, 26, 27 years old. Like, well, and not that right Greg Cosell is the end all be all, but he had said from the get go or pr- about mid season that Derrick Henry looked yeah. like he has, has lost a step. Yeah. Just on what the film shows. Own that, or like, how how do y'all feel about that though? Like the Derrick Henry moving, like I feel like we're going back to the 
We're going back to the memorial, and we're 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 looking at this. Oh, Titans fans are all yeah, in I, their feels. I mean, but right, but yeah. we all knew it was That's, coming. That we was knew, my thing. I thought we warmed up. To I this. dealt with it last year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As a Titans fan, you can kind of see like, it. I said it in the last offseason. This would be his last year. Yeah. Greg Cosell said it. Y'all yeah. said it. That yeah, is, it's that, not a surprise. That is a weird reaction. And not to mention, I mean, I get the love for him, but I, I feel right. like we all knew. Right? And with the the new coaching staff and all that, I uh, from the get go, I'm like, even if he wanted to be back, which honestly, I don't think that Derek wanted to be back. Mm. But I thought it would have been a bad idea from a standpoint of you have a new offensive system, a new brand new coaching staff. There's no way that Derek Henry, as competitive and and great as he is, is going to be okay right. with being a one B. Yeah. Or not here where you became no, the king. Not no. here. Yeah. So I can play the role. I, I the the emotional reaction from Titans fans, I get they love him. Maybe it's because all these reports lately have been like they're not ruling it out. They're not closing true. the door. Right. Maybe they yeah. well, I think Derrick Henry closed the door, honestly, and made I, it I think simple. they both did, honestly. Yeah. But instead of getting it sewn up, you had a band aid over the wall. Yeah. Well, so what this, I do appreciate, though, <laughs> well, there's is, a lot of people in the chat. What up, y'all? Hi, y'all. I do them, appreciate open. that the Titans went ahead, got Pollard, got their guy, yeah, made the call, and and we don't have to talk about yeah. Derrick Henry here for yeah. the next three. Right. Weeks. So <laughs> the Titans have uh, until he signs with somebody. Anyway, right. Will yeah, the Titans will sign Cowboys running back Tony Pollard and Broncos center Lloyd Cush. Cushionberry, we will talk about that when we come back. 615-737-1045. Michael in Nashville leads us off. Michael, what up? Good good evening, guys. Good evening, man. I'm I'm definitely happy about the signing. Uh, You know, I said it last year like everybody else. He just – I think since he's gotten injured, he hasn't been the same Derrick Henry. And, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not emotional about it because it's just business. This team needs to get – Younger and faster because as of right now, we are still chasing who? Kansas City. Do I think we'll win 10 games next year? No. I think we'll be, you know, kind of middle of the pack-ish. I think the following year it'll show because, I mean, we're still behind the eight ball when it comes to a lot. So I'm definitely happy with the signing. You know, I'm anxious to see what this team is going to look like. I hope we do air the ball out, you know, a lot more to compete. So, of course, I'm going to ask you guys this. With us sitting at number seven, I mean, are you going to go offensive lineman or are you going to take the best available receiver to uh, catapult this team into the 21st century? Uh, I'm on record as playmaker for me. But also, I mean, we'll see what happens because left tackles are getting released. So what if they do that? I we, still, I, you know where I am. You know where I am. Yep. I, I'll say I get this, it, though. but what if they sign a left tackle in free agency? Still go get a, go get a right tackle. Then. Well, then you know exactly <laughs> where they're going <laughs> in the draft. I, yeah, yeah. Then it's playmaker. That's true. It's yeah, playmaker, playmaker yeah, and but. it's corner and linebacker and all the other areas that are yeah, empty. So, supposedly, they're going to sign this uh, Bengals corner uh, that we actually talked about a few weeks ago, a woozy. Um, and free agency. Mm-hmm. One source says this is PFN. Uh, one source says Tennessee is looking for a high character veteran who will set the standard in practice and on the field. It'll be 29 in May. All right. Um, okay. Well, I just need him to not suck. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> this isn't like elite shutdown corner guy. Right. This isn't yeah. him. 615 737 1045. Tons of NFL to get to. We'll be here till six o'clock for you on 1045 The Zone. What is happening, good people? You know it's Ron Slate coming through. And when you're riding smooth down the interstate, don't you feel good? Like it's no potholes and things? Huh. Yeah, it would be if you woke up in Milliken Corp land. That's right. Milliken Corp, they are bringing it all to you when it's coming. Experts in concrete asphalt grading and drainage services. Don't be running around rocky roadish. Don't do that. Don't pull up into your driveway and have to dodge a little crater that's, that's happened because of snow and ice. Don't pull into different places where you have to navigate through the parking lot just to get a spot where you're not parked in a ditch. Yeah. 
That's why it looks. After all this snow and ice we've had, get Milliken Corp to come in and smooth things out. They can do decorative concrete, stamped concrete, driveway, sidewalks, patios, and more. So get that whole outside look the way you want it before you get everybody over to the house and the barbecue and everybody's talking about you. Don't make it happen. Yeah, 615-238-5909 is the number, 615-238-5909. Not your fault. You choose the wrong asphalt. Hit with MillicanCorp.com. They're about to redo my deck here, too. Hey. They can do a little bit of everything. Yes. Um, okay, do you want more speed? Guess what? You are in luck because Xfinity just increased their internet speeds. I've seen the trucks all out in our neighborhood as they're making sure everything is good to go and they are faster than ever now with super fast internet too and a reliable connection you can do more of what you love gaming downloading video chat more cozy nights on the couch streaming your favorite movies and tv shows if life with double the speed is sounding pretty awesome it is time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from xfinity get 150 megabit xfinity internet for only 20 bucks a month for 12 months no annual contract double the speed the same great price plus for a limited time learn how you can get a hundred dollar prepaid card when you get more speed when you sign up online all you have to do go to xfinity.com and switch today does require paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account restrictions apply equipment taxes and other charges extra after promo regular rates apply actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed
Diggins Turf and Landscape Supply, that is the company, DigginsSupply.com. They can help you get that lawn looking incredible. Trey Hartsook is here with more. Trey, what's up? Tell you, maybe you're looking around your lawn and you're like, dude, I just wish I could have a great lawn, not full of weeds, not full of crab. At Diggins Supply, here's what we can do for you. We can give you the tools that you need to get your lawn looking as good as it ever looked. And, Brent, I promise, not going to be as much work as you might think. All we got to do is get you on the Dickens Turf Plan. It's a 12-month plan. Once a month, you go out in the yard, you do a little fertilizing, a little grass seeding, do a little herbicide and kill some weeds, and you can have the best lawn on the block. And that, we can promise you also, that time of year, great time to look around and say, hey, my mower, it's really old. I need to upgrade it. And Dickens Turf and Landscape Supply is the place to go for that. We have a ton of great brands the best in the industry, and maybe you're sold on a brand. You want that brand? We probably have it. If not, and you're open to ideas, we have the most of anybody in Nashville as far as selection goes. So if you need a mower, stop in to see us conveniently located all over Middle Tennessee. Got locations in Nashville, Hendersonville, Murfreesboro, Bellevue, Brimwell, Lamar, Mount Juliet, and Franklin opened up at 7 a.m., closing at 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, 7 to 12 on Saturdays. If you can't get a hold of us, check us out online, dickensupply.com. Three HL one zero four five the zone. Brent Doherty, Doug Davenport, Rod Slay with you on NFL Free Agency Monday. None of this official till Wednesday at three o'clock. But here we sit, and we're here for you. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five at three HL one zero four five. We are rolling. Does my rolling, mic rolling, does my mic rolling. sound weird to y'all? No, no. you sound good. No, nope. sounding good. Oh, it's all in it your is. head. It is it's literally it's my headphones. Your head. There he goes. My headphones. Uh, real quick, guess what happened to me coming to work today? What? I was in the fast lane going about 76 or so. Did you get a ticket? No. I was passing cars that were in the second to the left. One of those cars was Don Davenport. Oh, you passed Babson. I was proud of you. She wasn't in the fast lane. I oh, went yeah. zooming past Don Davenport. I didn't even right notice. I know. I know. I wanted to bring was, it up I on there. I was air. having a conversation on the phone. So I knew better, though, to not be in the fast passing job. lane. Good job. Right? I was doing my job. Good job, Babs. Proud of you. Yeah. Savage has been on your kick lately as well. Like I know, because he gets out. it. Mm. <laughs> the people that, that smart. don't understand, they don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> smart. He understands the importance of not just <laughs> chilling in the passing lane. Right. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five. There are a lot of teams in the passing lane going fast uh, in the NFL. Uh, Titans again. Uh, Cowboys running back Tony Pollard from Memphis. Memphis Melrose. That's right. I covered him in college. Three years, twenty four million. Orange man. Um, well less than the King last year. What what did the King get last year? What did he make last year? Eleven two. Eleven point two. Eleven two. All right, so now you are going to have Ty J. Spears and Tony Pollard, um, and we'll get into why they went that way. Um, and you're done there. But now you that's cool. – you cool You're being. great yeah. there. That's like $9.2 million. So you're like $2 million less than last year. Mm-hmm. 
and you don't have a two-down running back. And look, I love Derrick Henry and all these things, but both of these guys can be on the field and you can run your entire offense with either one of them. Both block well, both pass catch, both can run between tackles. Yep. Although Tajay is a much better pass catcher. Yeah, no, I know, no question. I know yeah, Pollard yeah. did it, but he wasn't yeah. great. Yeah. He actually had more than Spears, but he had more time. Yeah, I was going to say we're, um, we're working. They combined for he, 100. He was and, also targeted way more, I think. Yeah. 107 total receptions between those two guys last year. Uh, Pollard caught 55 balls, Spears 52. Pollard 5.2 yards per carry at 1,007 yards and nine touchdowns. Spears at 4.5. Um, so Pollard, uh, 5.2 yards per carry. The King, 4.2. Uh, King, 11.67 yardage. Pollard, 1,007 coming off um, – Pretty serious injury uh, last year. So this will be year two off the injury, which was, if y'all remember, fractured leg and high ankle sprain. That was tough. But he came back quick. Yeah. Came back quick. And um, there are – let me see if I screenshot this. This is what um, Tony Pollard said in December. I would say it's night and day difference. You think you're good. You think you're all the way back until you're actually out there making plays, full speed, feeling it. Once you get a feel for it and get your feet under you, then you start to realize, oh, man, I may not have, I may have lost a little right there, but I'm picking it back up. Pollard added that he started to feel really, uh, really feel like the injury was fully behind him about halfway through the season, a little bit after the bye week, something like that. I started to feel like I was starting to get into the groove of things again. So this will be year two off the injury, which is what everybody mm-hmm. always talks about uh, for him. And then Broncos center Lloyd Cushenberry will sign. Um, fifty-seven games played, fifty-seven games started. Six foot three, three hundred and two pounds. His first game as a pro was against the Titans. I love, love, <laughs> love. Like I am madly in love with this move. This is it. Ma- N- no more. No more hearing about tough as a two dollar steak. Yeah, we don't need no A one sauce with this. No more bad snaps. No mm-hmm. more trying to snap too quickly because of short arms yeah. and not big enough reach yeah. and too small, undersized. No more. Mm-hmm. No more. I am in love with this one. So also, um, Cushionberry was at LSU. So, you know, our our LSU uh, guy, go-to guy is Mike Dettelier, and he immediately texted me after this signing or this news came out and said, man, y'all got a real good one in Cushenberry. He's smart, he's efficient, long-armed, and double tough. So my my whole, you know— Initially, what I first take from the the text is long armed. I'm like that. that yes, <laughs> got us one. Yes, you know. Um, so eight, six three, not extremely tall, but really, really long arms. And Detillier was talking about how he was really the unsung hero of that 2019 team with protecting Joe Burrow, keeping him upright. Uh, huge leader for that LSU team and wasn't even like top of the recruiting list for Les Miles. Ended up kind of a a last minute thing. He was committed to South Carolina. Um, And then LSU had a scholarship open, ends up there and, you know, was just such a steady guy there. Everybody loves him. Then I had like a couple other people text me talking about you're so lucky he's the, you know, you guys are so lucky. He is my favorite human being in this world. I mean, like, stuff like that is what I'm getting about Kushimiri. Yeah. that's That says a lot, just even outside of the football part of it I from a that. leadership standpoint and all of that. And, and, you know, I just look at it as you've got a young quarterback. Now he's not going to have to count on a rookie at center, right? Or somebody that just isn't efficient there. Like this guy is reliable. He has done his job and they get to grow together and you don't have to worry about that position and you don't have to worry about left guard. So that's where you are in your offensive line and that you just took care of a massive need. From Warren Sharp, who does all the um, uh, analytics and stuff, uh, Lloyd uh, Cushenberry ranked number three in pass blocking last year. Number three. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Titan center Aaron Brewer ranked 27 in pass blocking last year. Cushenberry allowed just 14 pressures, number two fewest for any center playing at least 15 games. Brewer allowed 34 pressures, which ranked number 35 of 37 qualifying centers. Up 
Wow. Grade. Massive. Yep. Massive upgrade. And, and a very important And for the position. future. Yeah. Too. As you're moving forward and you're building. And that's that was my whole thing with whatever they're doing in free agency for the Titans. You, you can't be bringing in one you know, prove it guys on a prove it deal, something like that. You have to make sure that you're building for the future. And I think that's exactly what Rand Carthon has done in this position. Um, in the, this from Mike Herndon. Um, in the last two seasons, two total sacks allowed 16 pressures. That's it. That's a beautiful comment. What was the pressure number there. again for Brewer? That's in two years for Cushionberry. 16 pressures, two sacks. Brewer allowed 34 pressures wow. this year. I, I will say too, like I, I got the opportunity to talk to Red B. Um, and he he and Coach Max said they vetted him coming out of LSU. They were just as impressed about him and coming off of that national championship team, working his way into I think third round pick the year after. Like he knows how to win, and you need that moving forward. When you think about successful of offensive lines, you never skip over the center, right? Regardless of who you got outside protecting. The other guys protecting the center as far as the guards. The center has to be a mainstay. When we were rolling and trying to plug and play, the constant was Ben Jones um, for this team. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to be able to get a guy right there that you can build with, that's that's big time. No doubt. Big and time. who was it uh, before Ben? It was Mawai, right? Mawai, yeah. Yeah, and Mawai mm-hmm. was here forever, and he was that leader. And, and you needed need that. You gotta have and there, it. I think you can have it with. Berry. What's the one thing that Taylor Lewan said when Aaron Brewer was moving to center? Remember what he said to us? Mm-mm. He's a quiet guy. Like, you know, that's my one so question is. is, like, how is anyone going to hear him talk? Mm-hmm. Which I thought was interesting, and now, uh, you know, you get one of the best in the league. He so. played off of it a little bit, saying, like, when he gets excited, you know, it's hard to understand him and things of that nature. But, yeah. he t- but then comparing that to Ben Jones was really dope to hear. Like, Ben Jones would see things happen – and also be able to come back and tell, hey, man, we need to run this because such and such is doing this at the second level. Like, it, God, it, that's, oof. We just got growth. Just got growth right there by getting, being, being able to pick Cushionberry up. So Big Jeff has tweeted I saw you about tweet free that. agency. Tell the good people what he said. Uh, no way we let Nico go to the Texans, dot, 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 with the hand over the face emoji. I know, Big Jeff. It's, it's, That's exactly where Titans fans are right now. But uh, what, have, what have we talked about with Ran? He, you know, I know, everybody and their mom knows that this isn't a team that's going to go and win a Super Bowl next nope. year. They're not. Nope. I mean, th- they might have success, yes. Yeah. They might be a playoff team with, right. if they make the right moves and draft correctly and it works out and you get a little lucky, yeah. right? Yeah. But... When you look at Danico, he's thirty. He's going to be thirty-four years old. It is very clear what Rand Carthon is doing in going younger, mm-hmm. looking towards the future, and even I say future the next two years, right? Right. right. Two or three yep. years. That's where he is, yep. and and Danico's older. And you want to continue to build off of what you were able to do in this past year's draft with the guys being able to go out there and play with now young you talent. A, yeah, you want to take experience. a step forward, mm-hmm. and and look at the. The moves you're already making in free agency before getting to the draft. Mm-hmm. Bah, bah, bah. They're not done either. No, they're not done. They ain't no, done. It's, it's, hey, we here, baby. All right, let's go to the people. You ready? What the yes. people? 615-737-1045. Sue Ann in Nashville. Oh, Sue Ann, what's yeah. up? Thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Sue Ann, you're so nice. I just want to do a shout-out for what? You 3HL did in Radio Row. I know we're looking forward to the future, but when we look to the past and we see what we did in the past, 3HL knocked it out of the ballpark. Oh, thank thanks, Sue Ann. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. That's so and, nice of you. Oh, no, I'm telling you, I, I was glued to my TV, whatever that means. Um, (laughs) But (laughs) Dawn. That's a good point. Beautiful Dawn. So smart. Yeah, so smart. But, you know, the American Ninja, I mean, that was like my second. Like watching that, I appreciate 
because it's not always about football or soccer or baseball. It's about the people who really have talent. Love it. Thank but you, Sue Ann. That was Hunk, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, thank Hunk. you for I that, know. Thank I you. know. But my favorite was Mark Schellerus. Yeah. Was that the funniest Shianu ever? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. He, uh, <laughs> he, he really and brought it. Was it. Was like, yes. He really brought it, and we disagreed I on some things, which lesson. was good. Listen, yeah. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson because I got shut down off of Buck Rising. But... <laughs> She that the was ice hilarious <laughs> about the goat and how that he would not. Everybody, they had to put all these towels <laughs> underneath their ball parts yeah. because they he did not want to touch them. <laughs> I was dying. Is that the funniest thing ever? That's so good. It is. Thank you so much. Thanks, so Sue Ann. We appreciate you. <laughs> the funniest ever. <laughs> Thank you, Sue Ann. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five. Bucky, next up on three HL. Bucky, what you got, man? Man, guys, this is the second time I've ever called into this show, and the first time was some Charlie Brown rant you were going on at Christmas a couple of years. ago. I can't ago, stand Charlie just, Brown. Let's just go ahead and throw that out there. Just yep. bring the hate, everybody. Bring the hate. Hey, me, me either. I'm with you. That's <laughs> yeah. why I called I mean, in. And I this mean, time, I- the long and the short of it is. Sometimes some people happen to life. Sometimes people let life happen to them. <laughs> you I mean, and this Charlie agree. Brown, right? Bucky, uh, you know. Bucky agrees. I'm glad, well, I'm felt, glad you so, called it so, on that. Yeah, with Charlie Brown, I felt compelled. My fingers just grabbed the phone, and I called when I got in the truck and heard Hunk's headline about Danico. Yeah. Come on. You guys are going to have to help me make this make sense out of this. Mm-hmm. We got cap space like this on a year like this, and we can't re sign 10 mil a year for the most exciting defensive player last year. I, like, I, all due respect, Big Jeff, but Danico was playing like a dude flying around like it's the end of his first year contract. I don't care if he's 33. I mean, I get Derek, I get SMB, I get the Broncos Center, I get Tony Pollard. I do not get this. This yeah. was my favorite player last year, and I, I'm sure I speak for all Titans fans. I get age, I get business, but, man, Danico was special. Loved him, too, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an indication, I don't know, but I think it's an indication of how much they have to do. Mm -hmm. So when you start talking about $10 per, I get it. I think it's worth it for Danico Autry, but I'm not the one sitting in that chair analyzing all these dollars. Uh, That's $2 more than Pollard is going to get, and that's more than the running back position is going to get, which I guess is, you know, where they want to be league-wise. But, I I mean – I think well, we, I think all of God's children in Nashville right? will agree with you about they wish that they could have brought Danico back. Yes. Have fun on your AFC South tour. <laughs> 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 yeah, he started at Indy, hit the Titans, <laughs> Texans. Now Listen, he can just go get overpaid by the Jags eventually. Yeah. We we know that he holds grudges too. <laughs> Yeah, no yeah but Look that's the, what Slate was saying. Yeah. He didn't think uh, he doesn't think that it's like uh, they pushed him out. Right? Like, oh no, 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 no! I right. totally agree with yeah, you on that. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, look at how he played against the Colts, and I mean, yes, there was a, a different, more nasty reason, but but uh, you know how players look for a little motivation things. Yeah, that's why it's even more reason to make sure you go show up this offensive line. <laughs> like, it ain't gonna get any easier. Mm-hmm. Um, along, Grover Stewart just got re-signed with the Colts, so I mean, this. You got it. You, go out there with that little offensive line you went out there with last year. You want to. Okay. People in the chat are panicking, I uh, feel. About? In Ran, uh, Lonzo. In Ran, I don't trust. I mean, you're, Now I'm not happy. Talking quickly. about the Danico move. But <laughs> you, we this don't quickly? know yet, though. Yeah. We don't know yet what else they have up their sleeve. Or yep. what other free agents are going to come available defensively. Like, mm-hmm. we don't know. I, what I, direction that's going to go? Yet. I wish they could have signed Danico Autry for sure. But those two yeah. signing Tony Pollard and and especially Cushenberry, that's huge. Yeah, Ooh, you, also, Cushenberry is huge. Would you guys believe me if I told you that I just got the numbers from SMB and he's getting paid more than Danico is from Houston? So I'm saying like it's, these these other NFL teams like, have more money to that? play with no. as well. That's why they, I mean, yeah, not more money than the Titans to play with, but they have a more of a cushion to play with. So they because get, they, they don't, don't have the they don't holes. have all many yeah exactly that many spots to fill. So 
yeah, of course it's going to be enticing to go somewhere else if we offering them seven or six and they offering them ten. Uh, it's just what it, you have holes to fill. It's not going to happen in one year, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to happen. Would you? This is the, this Preach is what you got to ask yourself. You got to ask yourself: Do you want to hold on to memorabilia, or would you like to go get some new awards? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that simple. It's that simple. You want to hold on to the great trophy of the king right there, the great trophy of Danico, or would you like to go get some more? Or do you want to just keep going back in there and dusting off the old memorabilia? You're like, boy, that show was that show was a good time, boy. I wonder if you're doing. Now nah, go find something. It's evolving, man. Hello. Well, we are. Does and Andrew like said, pa- evolve, <laughs> evolve or die. Is that what they say? That is what they say. <laughs> all right, all right. Andrew said, past history doesn't give the fans that confidence in future decisions, Miss Dawn. This is not them. This is not the same <laughs> past history. Different GM, different and coaching coach. staff. And if you think about it, this it. is in reality year one for him as GM. Right. Yeah. I think. Right. 615 737 1045. More of your reaction. And what have the Jags done? They've done a lot. We'll be right back. 1045 The Zone. What's happening, folks? Let's get your energy back up right now, fellas. If you've been feeling a little tired, a little grumpy, notice a lack of motivation and drive, you got weight gain and loss of muscle mass, well, these could all be signs of low testosterone levels. I got a way for you to fix that. Low T Center. That's where you need to head on over to. Easy to get your levels checked. I'm telling you, get your results back in about 25 minutes. So make your health and quality of life a priority. Go to lowtcenter.com to book your appointment online today. That's lowtcenter.com. Reinventing men's health care. Another big Saturday night in Smashville. Your Nashville Preds continue their march towards clinching a spot in the playoffs. How about this? We didn't think this was going to happen a couple months ago. But on Saturday, March 23rd, you can see the Preds take on the Detroit Red Wings. Boo. At 4 p.m. at Bridgestone Arena. Plus, join the Preds for Ford Military Week honoring active and retired military heroes. We appreciate you all. Get tickets for the game at NashvillePredators.com slash tickets and never miss any game. Go ahead and secure your season tickets. They just went on sale for the 24-25 season, and this year the Preds will give you a sweater with your tickets, plus a ton of other great benefits. NashvillePredators.com slash season tickets. Got to Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. That's where you need to go to get that next new vehicle. Whether you're looking for a car, truck, SUV, or Jeep, new or pre-owned, Gupton is your spot. Best vehicle buying experience you've ever had. I'm telling you. Uh, Just go see my friend Daniel and his crew and let them know what you're looking for. Maybe you need more space. Maybe you need something a little more reliable. Maybe you need something more gas efficient. Maybe you need that price to come down a little bit. I don't know. Uh, Just let them know and get it done. It's going to be easy. 3450 Tom Austin Highway in beautiful Springfield, Tennessee. Just 30 minutes from downtown Nashville. To uh, go take 24 West or Clarksville Lakes at 35 is about nine miles outside the city. Then that beautiful drive into Springfield. Again, 3450 Tom Austin Highway. Just 30 minutes from downtown Nashville. Check them out online, guptonmotors.com. All of the inventory is there. All of the dealership information is there as well. That's guptonmotors.com. Gupton, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram.
Three HL one zero four five. The zone. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. That was my backup quarterback choice. That's what you want. I, I can. That ain't mad. That mad. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> Minshew. He, uh, Mania. Played 17 games last year, 62.2% completion percentage, 3,300 yards, 15 touchdowns, nine interceptions. He was eight and six as a starter, six and three in the last nine. Yeah. I was I was hoping for Minshew. He's, oh, he's, well. he's great. He's great in the back overall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And with the Raiders quarterback health, he'll probably play a lot. Right. Well, he's also entertaining. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, <laughs> but then also... I don't know. I feel like you want a veteran backup behind Will Levis that isn't going to be somebody that fans are clamoring for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mike Girardi covers the Patriots. He said the Pats offensive guard will get interest from, oh, who is the guard? Mike on Winu. On Winu. He's 26 years old, number four PFF in 2022. Um, He'll get interest from the Commanders, Ravens, Giants, and Titans. Hey. Okay. Well, you said Giants? Commanders, Ravens, Giants, and Titans. He played for the Patriots. Yeah, that's good. Uh, from Jeremy Fowler, Jags wide receiver Calvin Ridley will hit the market. Jags, Patriots expected to make a push. Titans and Panthers could also be in the market. I like that right there. like that right there. Panthers went out there and got, um, what's the name, some help. Paid a bankroll for a guard. Um, Carolina Panthers. Uh, what's his name for Miami Dolphins that went over there? Rob Sheesh. Schneider. <laughs> Rob Schneider's in all of the movies that Dawn watches. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. She loves that guy. Robert While Hunt. Robert Hunt. They gave him a bankroll. Did you see what they gave him on? I do not have that number in front. Man, they gave him a, a bag. While y'all are looking for that, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars traded over the weekend a six-round pick to the New England Patriots for quarterback Mac Jones. <laughs> they also acquired former Bills center Mitch Morris, which was a guy we were talking about on Friday. Wide receiver Gabe Davis going to the Jags. Safety Darnell Savage. Savage. Savage, great, Savage a great name for uh, safety, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Also re-signed offensive guard Ezra Cleveland, three years, $24 million, and Josh Allen was tagged. Jags have been busy. Yes. Robert Hunt, five years, one hundred million dollars. That is, so, like, so that all right. So that's the other part of it. When you when you go get this is why we we were talking about building your offensive line through the draft. You can go get certain pieces to add to it through free agency. Great, but the really 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 good ones, that's what they're gonna be commanding. Stuff like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So when you can go get a Joe Alt. That's something. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Show up at Saves line. you a lot of money. Hey, man. They got somebody to believe in the number one pick and well, and that the young fella from Bama. Listen, whether Russia? you go whether you go playmaker or left tackle, those are two prime positions that, that you get a guy that helps when you. you're picking at seven, yeah. that will help you during the life of the rookie contract, which will be low. And help your guy that you got to, back there that you believe in. That you expect to be around for a while. Right. But like, I mean, Levis on a rookie deal, left tackle on a rookie say, deal. Man, hello. Less than ten million for the running back position. Left Hello? guard. Left guard. You see what they're trying you to mean do. Here. Left guard yep. on a rookie deal. Yep. S and B got all that money. <laughs> I, like, okay. I, I'd have, okay. Bye. It, it didn't help that they got that influx in money with the uh, salary cap. All teams mm-hmm. like that didn't help the Titans. You know what I'm saying? Like which, you would have had I mean, a bigger bargain and shit. Happen every year. Yeah. Right. And yeah. which is cool. So by year three of this build. We ought to be able to see that splash that we're looking for, too. Mm-hmm. So Once you address all your needs. All your needs, yes. Because it's quite a few. So, um, Toby on Twitter said, I don't understand the Pollard signing. Don't we have that player in Tajay Spears? They're separated by two and nine pounds, or two inches and nine pounds. First of all, we have to wait and see what the deal is, right? Because yep. the report out there is two for... Tw- two. Uh, Eight of you. Eight nope. a year. Eight a right. year is yeah. the yeah. Eight a year yeah. is the three year deal, twenty four million. Yeah, there you but, go. Yeah. Okay, so that's the deal. Three we don't know what the deal really is. Mm-hmm. So wait, wait until it actually comes out to to see it, um, because all but all this information right now is coming out from agents. Yep. So they're gonna make it look the best for Supposed their guy, mm-hmm. whereas you don't know what the real deal actually is yet. So th- that's one note on the Pollard thing, and the other note is you knew. Derrick Henry wasn't coming back. Tajay Spears, you have to have another running back, especially with what 
it seems like Brian Callahan wants to do offensively and this scheme and his system, you want another guy that is going to be versatile to be able to do what Tajay Spears do, does. And you can't just have one running back. Nope. Right? No, now, I know Hassan Haskins and there's some other guys behind that. but No, but now you're set. I don't think you need to do anything in, in the draft. But no, Tony Pollard and Spears, it doesn't matter. Dude, come in, go out, come in, go out. Right. I don't care yep. who's in the game. We're running the damn offense. Yep. One A and one B. Yeah, we'll put you in together. Let one A split out. It's yep. not like they're going to change plays depending on who's in. Yep. And you can have them both in and send one out, out standing up in the slot. Who knows? Absolutely. Uh, but they have they have playbook flexibility now at running back that they did not have with Derrick Henry. And I love Derrick Henry. Anytime you say something about Derrick Henry, it's like you feel like you got to like, be careful and let, let counter it a little bit. But, <laughs> yeah. but you're walking in with a new OC also with his hands untied. He knows what he wants. So, I mean, imagine what these other OCs are looking at this situation like, like golly, that's all we was asking for. Give us somewhere we don't have to, you know, make our plays so recognizable. I mean, this signing tells so us exactly what we've been saying. Like, they were just going to change offensively, philosophically, and yeah. that's what they've done. And they showed that hand with, with Tony Pollard. 615-737-1045. We've got it going today. NFL Go Talk all day. 3HL 104.5 The Zone. All right, you want to get a jump on spring cleaning? Transform your home into an oasis of calm. Say goodbye to clutter and make your closet beautiful on top of it. How about calling my friends at Artisan Custom Closets? You can visit them online, A-R-T-I-S-A-N, customclosets.com. They are amazing. A local company here, not a large chain business. Their products made and manufactured right here in the Southeast. And we're not talking cookie cutter items, but everything is customized for your home and they will stay within your budget because that's exactly what they did for my garage came out measured everything uh, free in-house design consultation for you and then they'll give you your 3d plans you can take away add whatever you want and then they'll come and install whatever you do in less than a day they do closets they do garages home offices playrooms living rooms whatever you need laundry rooms pantries they can take care of it for you no matter how big or small Take advantage of their multiple financing options, too. Tell them Don sent you. Call Artisan Custom Closets at 615-800-2199 or visit them online at artisancustomclosets.com. What's up, people? Feeling a little inflammation? Let me tell you how to get rid of that. Use some holistic stem cell therapy right with Kellum Stem Cell Institute. As simple as this, trusting your body, your cells, and your solution. That's what you should do. This is not, I repeat, not. The controversial stem cell use you're all used to hearing. No, take it from me. I went and did it. Had it done. Yes. Inflammation in my right knee. I think from all the years of playing and bending, squatting, jumping, doing all of this stuff, man. When you start to settle down, yeah, the knees are looking at you like, what are you doing, man? My knee is flaring. How do you handle that? Yes, you go and get some cells that you have had stored and you can continue to use them. All you got to do is hit Kellum Stem Cell Institute up. Hit them up for your consultation at 615-850-4415. Watch how easy it is when you're sitting there talking with Dr. Kellum. Real personable, one-on-one conversation. Answering any questions that you may have, you get anything you're looking for, whether it comes from autism, arthritis, whatever it may be, feel that void. Do not walk around in pain, people. Stop it. Get Kellum, K-E-L-L-U-M, StemCellInstitute.com.
Good afternoon from the 104.5 The Zone Studios. I'm Joe Hunt. Today is the first day of the legal tampering period for the NFL. These deals cannot be confirmed or signed until the 13th, which is Wednesday. But here's the news that we have so far. The Titans are reportedly going to be bringing in ex-Cowboys running back Tony Pollard. Three-year deal, $24 million. The Titans are also going to be signing center Lloyd Cushenberry, the former ex-Denver Bronco. Now, former Titans is going to be heading out. Cardinals and SMB have a deal for $3 million, $25.5 million, with 17.5 of that guaranteed. And the Texans and Danico Autry have struck a deal for two years, $20 million. The Jaguars have signed two wide receivers with Calvin Ridley leaving as they will be bringing in former Bill wide receiver Gabe Davis to a three-year $40 million deal. And just a few seconds ago, it was announced that the Jaguars will be bringing in former Ravens wide receiver Devin DuVernay for a two-year $12 million deal. For all your foundation repair and waterproofing needs, you need to visit USSTN.com. Breaking news at once on your home for the Vols, the flagship station for your Tennessee Titans, as well as home to 3HL. This is 104.5 The Zone. Three and two, one zero four five. The zone, Brent Doherty. Don Davenport is here. Woo-hoo. We're gonna hustle today. What up, Madison? Let's go. Oh, Rod Slay is here too. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. I'm in the building. Four times, just because there's so much stuff going on. There is in the building. It's time for Rand. Uh, real quick, because we've got one phone call about Vols basketball, which will work in here because he's been very patient and been, even though this is a heavy NFL day, we did bring this up. Uh, Tennessee currently a number one seed in, in bracketology on ESPN and CBS. Uh, they have them in the West, which would be Los Angeles for the Sweet 16. Huh. That's far away. Very. If you one Slay knows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joey Brackett has uh, Tennessee a one seed, Kentucky a three seed. The second round game would be Wisconsin for them. Uh, Tennessee would play Northwestern or Oklahoma on this bracket. Alabama four seed. Their second round game would be five seed Clemson. Auburn a four seed. Their second round game would be five seed BYU. Five seed South Carolina. Their second round game would be four seed Kansas, who just got throttled mm. by 30. And Hunter Dickinson may be out. But that show his shoulder popped out in that game. Ugh. That's a bad injury. I didn't see that, but I figured mm-hmm. something happened. Six Florida, their second round game would be Duke. Oh, that is a Ooh. matchup. I don't like that as a Duke I, fan. I, I wouldn't either. Either Florida way, man, that's that, a, that's a good one. Ooh, that size was serious. How did how did Vanderbilt beat Florida? You do it. I don't. <laughs> Wild year. I don't know, um, but they should fire Stackhouse. <laughs> the they, booed, they booed him when he got introduced, yeah, yeah, and then he, and then he won. I did hear that. Mm-hmm. Um, number 11 seed, <laughs> Mississippi State. Uh, their second round game would be Washington State or Creighton. So uh, that's currently where that is. Uh, Kentucky beat Tennessee 85-81 in Knoxville. Slay said first team to 85 wins. Correct on that. Bingo. Reeves and Shepard each scored 27 for the Cats. Shepard, 7 of 10 from 3. Kentucky shot 15 of 29 from 3. Dalton Connect with 40 for the Vols. We'll get into kind of his historic season at some point this this week. It's unbelievable what he has done. Ziegler, 17 and 9. Adu, 11 points, 8 rebounds, 5 blocks. Uh, congrats to Vandy, as I mentioned. Uh, also, congrats to Missouri on the winless SEC regular season. 0 and 18 is impressive. <laughs> there you go. By the way, it's I was being sarcastic Chris- about the uh, stack comment. Yeah. yeah. Um, Somebody who might not have listened to yeah. us this season might, might think, yeah, yeah. not get it. Yeah. Yep. That's why you got to listen. Right. Crazy year in the SEC. Um, Deion Dawkins, left tackle, trolled everybody today. What did he do? Three-time Pro Bowl left tackle for the Bills, uh, like, put on Twitter, like, oh, it was fun playing in Buffalo. Love y'all. Mean it. You know, it was fun experience. Thanks, Bills Mafia, blah, blah, blah. Wow. And then, like, 30 seconds later, the story came out that he signed a three-year deal with the Buffalo Bills. Come on, Dion. You can't play like that, man. Don't play with emotions like that. He was like, why would I leave what Buffalo? If, what if Derrick Henry did that? Three years, $60.5 million extension, but did it the other way. I'm like, coming back, guys. And then 30 seconds later, he's not. I'm going to play the third-tier running back, maybe 2B. Oh, well.
615-737-1045 at 3HL1045 on Twitter. SEC tournament coming up this week. We will broadcast live Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from Bridgestone Arena. It's going to be fun. Can you imagine? If, well, number one, there are like six, seven teams that could win this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but could you imagine the secondary market if it's Tennessee, Kentucky on Sunday? Nuts. Mm-hmm. N-U-T-S or N-T-U-T-Z. You always say coconuts. Yeah, that, yeah that's a little wrong. <laughs> You've started to say that. K, uh, KC in Nashville. KC, what up? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. I waited so long, my basketball question turned into a financial <laughs> okay. Some, All right, man. With my this, this, is a, this is a heavy NFL day, man. I was trying to get back to you. I, I get you, but I'm, I'm just saying, in no particular order, but put uh, Ron Sylvester's slay last. Uh, Don, thank you, sweetheart, for bringing organization to the show. Mayor, <laughs> you, you, keep, you keep it structured. Here we go. And then it's me. I, I've come into a, a windfall here, and I'm trying to find out which best way to invest my money. Do I go in Bitcoin? Do I go in index funds? Or do I get Final Four tickets for Tennessee mm. uh, in, in Phoenix? I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying here. Now, I can't unsee what I saw uh, Saturday. Vesco goes goose eggs. Mm-hmm. Goose eggs, I might add, mm-hmm. on senior night. Now, I don't know if we need a sports uh, – psychologists, or are we just not having what we call um, a clutch gene that's going on now? I, I just need to know how to invest this money, guys. I got some money I want to go out to finish with. So you going out with me? I'm most definitely going cup. out there. Yeah, you, you, you I, I put me on the hood of the car. You buying your Tennessee I, I, Final Four tickets? Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> well, okay, I'm now take saying, your guys, orange colored glasses off. Okay, the SEC will play for them. <laughs> well, I'm going to hang up, and I, I, I want you guys to tell me which way to go, why I should or why I shouldn't uh, follow this team. And uh, we're going to fail in, in the Sweet 16 again when uh, my secondary players, uh, Triple J and Vesco, go uh, goose eggs again. All right. hang up and listen. Appreciate it. Uh, real, I'll make this real quick. Yeah, this, this ain't going to take long, Casey. When you look at what you – to unsee what you saw, always remember that it was one game separating the first – versus the fifth or sixth team in the league. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, all right? these teams are good, my man. I, I want to say that. And you're talking about the team that you want to unsee. Three of those three of those players made all SEC teams, and the ones that cooked did. Now, when you're looking at Tennessee, the guys that you just mentioned didn't make all SEC. But the ones that you failed to mention, Zakai was defensive player of the year and first team all SEC and first team defense. Also, real, and, real, real quick. Really tough to do from the point guard position, be the SEC defensive player of the Without year. Without question. No question about it. Dalton Connect was the SEC player of the year, and the leap made by Jonas A. Do to make first team, I mean, second team, all SEC, and um, uh, all, I should have been all SEC defense uh, if he didn't make it. But kudos to him for that, too, man. Like, that's dope right there. So, um, if you're going to unsee what you saw on Saturday, you need to unsee it for everyone and think no SEC team will make it to the Final Four. Simple as that. SEC schedule has prepared all of these Everyone teams on. for tournament play. That's why we're talking about six different teams that can win the SEC tournament. Yep. And right. So at when least you're fi- four or five that can make to the Final Four. When you're filling out your bracket, think about that with the SEC. Think about that with the Big 12, right? Mm-hmm. Outside of maybe Kansas, who now maybe without. And according to what you player. just read, the most difficult matchup in that second round would probably be Duke and Florida, both yeah. ways for them. Mm-hmm. Right. You know I mean, so, yeah. It's going to be a fun tournament. Uh, all right, uh, NFL news again. Uh, if you're just tuning in, the Titans will sign Cowboys running back Tony Pollard, three years, $24 million. So that's $8 million per. Derek was making eleven point two. So the running back position, you will pay out less than $10 million um, next year between those two guys. that contract structure. Right, exactly. Uh, it is eight per, though. Uh, but, yes, in terms of bonus money and all those things. Um, he'll be 27 in April. Um Five point two yards per carry last year, and a big stat. He caught fifty five passes. So you know that's what they want to do with their running backs. They did it with Spears this year with fifty two receptions. So over a hundred receptions for those two guys last year. You can run any play at any time, regardless of who the running right. back is. Real quick, Hunk pulled up every single one of the running back free agent deals, and Hunk they all end before. Hey. Go ahead. Yes, every single deal that has been made so far for a running back has the contract ending either before the running back turns 30 or when the running back turns 30. Mm. 
Same way with Pollard, for sure. So, yep. um, short short window to make yeah. your money at that Josh position. Josh Jacobs' deal is the biggest right now. Four years, forty eight million dollars. Wow. And it will end when he is thirty so years old. So that's fourteen point five per. Uh, Barkley was like right at twelve per. Yep. So you get Pollard at eight per, and the, the Titans weren't going with that one running back deal like those two teams are. Um, they're going to have a two running back system, and those so two teams go go get another one too. They will. Yeah. But those will be primary running backs. Primary, yeah. 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 Uh, Broncos center Lloyd Cushenberry will sign. Third-round pick out of LSU. 57 games played, 57 games started. He started all 16 games his rookie season as a center. His first game, ironically enough, as a pro was against the Titans. Six foot three, 302 pounds. Played every snap his rookie year. Oh, I can no longer play center. Remember, I was about 270, 280. I can oh, go yeah. fill in for Brewer. I yeah. can't do it no more. I got to be 300. Yeah. Sorry. Awaken 180 took my center opportunity away, y'all. <laughs> no more $2 steak, huh? Yeah, no. Nah, this is ribeyes now. I yeah. bet your arms are long enough, though. Cushionberry has really long arms. <laughs> All right. The uh, people are weighing in. Uh, YouTube, Facebook Live, and Twitch. Twitch, please. You can watch the show live there. The FNM Bait Chat is open. There are a ton of y'all. What up, doe? Up in there. 615-737-1045. Ryan in Lebanon. Ryan, what up? What's up, guys? How are y'all? What up, Ryan? Uh, so, really, we're going to send Danico to a ASC rival. I, I just I don't understand it. Uh, I mean, we're all trying to chase Kansas City Chiefs, right? I think Buck said it earlier on his show. Like, we need the defensive line as good as it always is. You know, it, it, I just don't understand why we're going to send him or why they just let him go over there, um, like, with, without any push. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're – we need to chase Patrick Mahomes because if you don't get to him, you ain't winning the Super Bowl. That's just, it is what it is right now. But thank, so, thank you, brother. Guys discuss and, uh, thank you. Yeah, for those that don't know, Danico Autry exits, goes to the Houston Texans, two years, $20 million, uh, 10.5 guaranteed in SMB. Sean Murphy bunting to the Arizona Cardinals. Response? Would you like to retort? I think we're going to say the same thing. Go get We're going to say the there. same go thing, ahead. but he's going to turn 34 <laughs> years old this summer. Mm-hmm. It is very clear that Rand Carthon and the moves he's making, they are not moves that are for next year. He's looking for signings and all of that with a younger team Getting younger. to be able yep. to have guys that will contribute for the next two to three years. And I'm sorry, at that position, I know that he had a career year last year, but at 34 years old, you cannot expect that when he's 37 37 at that position that he's going to be able to help your team. And so everybody understands they didn't let him go. Um, this wasn't a trade. This wasn't right. like this. It, it was, it was it's free agent. From what we understand right now with what we have, this was free agent and it was more mm-hmm. money offered there. I mean, mm-hmm. anybody in their right mind at 34, regardless of your outcome, if it's not these, a Super Bowl contender, you're going to go take that money at the end of your career. Now, he he was a restricted free agent, though, right? Mm-mm. Unrestricted. Unrestricted. Yeah, so, yeah, mm-hmm. then there's nothing. Unrestricted. I mean, you can you can offer to match what the deal is, but, right. but they weren't going to pay him anything like that when what I was just saying, you need somebody that's going to be yeah. helpful in the next two years. Yep. And I mean, to his, probably three. They, they could have offered whatever, and, and he mm-hmm. just chose the other one. And, yeah. and you... And you What you got, Hunt? Titans have a brand new cornerback. As Jeremy Fowler is saying, that uh, the Titans are agreeing to a three-year deal with a woozy. There you go. There yep. it is. Told you that was he happening. Brought it up last week, Mayor. Deal's being made, man. Chidobi Awuzie. Um, one source saying, this was earlier today from Pro Football Network. Um, one source saying, Tennessee looking for a high-character veteran who will set the standard in practice and on the field. He'll be 29 in May, second-round pick out of Colorado, six foot, 202 pounds, 57 tackles and a forced fumble last year. No interception since 2021 for Awuzie. Tore his ACL in 2022, yeah. uh, but ba- uh, battled back from that. He did give up, remember the George Pickens game against Cincinnati? Where he had those three long touchdowns. Yeah, two that of was them, him. Two of them were against Awuze. <laughs> that was a hell of a play, too, man. And what the story I read said that um, you know, sometimes when players give up, have bad games like that, they're like the first guy out of the locker yep. room. Said he stayed there and answered every question. Yep, I remember that. And took responsibility. Uh so there you go. Uh, mm. 
Chidobi Awuzi at cornerback for the Titans. So there's three pickups. 615-737-1045. We'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. More of your phone calls, your reaction. Cowboys running back Tony Pollard in the mix. Broncos center Lloyd Cushenberry, cornerback from Cincinnati, Chidobi Awuzi. Uh, in the mix, SMB to the Cardinals, Danico Audrey to the Texans. That's the news so far. 3HL 1045, the zone. Imagine that you wake up next week. Completely 100% debt-free. No credit card debt, no car loan, no personal loan, none of that. Loan Pronto is the company that you need to call to help you do it. Their Equity Express line of credit can make it happen where homeowners are turning their home equity into cash instantly. Loan Pronto's AI-based system has it to where you can get approval in about 10 minutes. You just go start the entire process on LoanPronto.com. You don't need a ton of documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle because of the value of our homes here in Middle Tennessee. So you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home and use that money to pay off all of your other loans or uh, maybe start a home improvement project. Call Loan Pronto now, 615-499-5780. Visit them online at LoanPronto.com. That's 615-499-5780. Loan Pronto, NMLS, 1661781. Subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. What's happening, folks? Let's get your energy back up right now, fellas. If you've been feeling a little tired, a little grumpy, notice a lack of motivation and drive, got weight gain and loss of muscle mass, well, these could all be signs of low testosterone levels. I got to wait for you to fix that. Low T Center. That's where you need to head on over to. Easy to get your levels checked. I'm telling you, get your results back in about 25 minutes. So make your health and quality of life a priority. Go to LowTCenter.com to book your appointment online today. That's LowTCenter.com. Reinventing men's health care.
3 HL 1045 The Zone. Brent Doherty, Don Davenport, Ron Slay, the latest signing for the Titans to W. Woozy, a rotational player at cornerback. Um, I think brought in more because the head coach knows about this guy's leadership abilities. Mm. And, I mean, locker room was specifically brought up by the report earlier today by Pro Football Network. One source says Tennessee looking for a high-character veteran who will set the standard in practice and on the field. I, t- I told you earlier in the show, like, we, we've – We've investigated this guy, like, I don't know, three weeks ago or so. Mm-hmm. Um, not a, like, lockdown one or two or three corner. He's right. not that. Uh, but you guys think they need depth on that roster? Hmm. Um, yeah, they need starters, much less depth. Right. And you, you, you're not going to – I don't know if you hear about it. Like, because I didn't – all right, maybe – I didn't understand this at first, y'all. But now being able to kind of follow it closely – you're not going to be able to sign a star or a big name in every spot that you need a void field. Especially when you have not that many. This team. Yeah. Like you need corners. Yeah. You need, <laughs> yeah. Like two line, inside linebackers, an outside linebacker, a deep, two interior linemen, really. Yeah. Um, you need the O line. Um, what else? Wide you receiver. Wide receiver. Back, like, back quarterback. And I'm not saying those are six people that, six positions I named. Well, you need at least two in every spot. Well, and that's, I mean, that's where you go you get these guys. You did need another running back. Yeah, you you, you that. addressed that. Right. This is where you go get those guys that are the leaders, that are the mm-hmm. rotational backup mm-hmm. pieces, because you don't get that in the draft. Correct. Especially. It's a woozy A is how you pronounce his name. Thank you, Hunt. Woozy A. Woozy A. Um, Get knocked a woozy. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, Trippin' Titans, well, I guess he can shake his cane at the youngsters. The dude is 28 years old. He'll be 29 know, in May. We've been talking about them getting younger and all of that. But Your entire you roster. also have to remember that age is different at different positions. Like, that is definitely true. You are, you're did, did Logan done. Ryan just play in a Super Bowl? Uh, yeah, and he's old. And start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah start. Um, I mean, sorry, when was Logan. he last year? I'm not, I'm not calling you old. No, but I mean, for purposes of <laughs> for purposes of, Logan of debate. Logan, be texting me real quick. Watch for yourself. Pur- for purposes of debate, he would agree with you. Right. And your your greater point, like some positions you need. And he'd be proud that he's able to play at this level at that age in this league. He's 28 years old. I mean, shake no, your I'm cane. talking about Logan Ryan. No, I know. Yeah, but I'm just going back to that comment. Shake your cane at somebody at 28 years old. Yeah. Okay. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five. Uh, let's go to Grant in Cookville. Grant, what's up? Hey, how we doing? Good, Good. Grant. What's up, man? Well, I, I just called in to kick that dead horse called Domenico Autry again. Oh, uh, man. Domenico a... Autry to the Texans, for those that don't know. <laughs> I know. How do you think go to division rival? But anyway, I, I kind of understand. And I think everybody appreciates the three of you trying to put a positive spin on it. But something Don said a few minutes ago about, you know, what we're trying to do you know, maybe two or three years down the road, but kind of Simon Pollard's just a two-year deal. So how do you let that man go? I realize he's 34, but 13 sacks, you can't replace that. No, I, I, can you? we all agreed that it would have been ideal to have him here. Yep. That, that's that's a tough one. And, and But it also could have not been the Titans' choice, too. That's true. I mean, he was maybe, a free agent. You might be right. Yeah. You never we, know what goes on behind the scenes. I we really don't. Could have been something happened there. Yeah. yeah. Only reason it, we knew what the coast is because he came out and spoke about it. Yeah. Right. And how he wanted to He said they could have re signed me yeah. and chose not to. Yeah. It was we'll tough to hear. He like I said, I, mm-hmm. I'll be honest. No, I, we're with I, you on that one. Year, yeah. I'm a 20 year PSL holder and I was just a little bit on the side of this year where I was going to re up, but I did. But boy, this is tough to hear. But it is. Hey, I'm in for the future. So I, I'm sure I was, they're, just, they're, I was just going to ask you that. The yeah. future is going to be fun, Grant. Yeah, Grant, are you not excited a, a, a bit about the way you're heading, knowing that you're kind of, you're in a sense rebuilding? You're not going to win a championship next year, but being, being able to rebuild pieces as you did with the draft coming out of, going into this draft with free agency, with the money you have, and just imagine if you hit this year, what year three means coming into it. That got to bring a little excitement I, to you. I am, and that's exactly why I re up. and you're, you're right. I mean, we're looking at the future of the new stadium, the whole package. So, yeah, I mean, 
I get it. It's just hard to see that man leave. Yeah, he was man, a, no doubt, bro. He's a For fan sure. favorite, definitely a favorite of mine. No question. Anyway, thank you. Thank, thank you, bro. Thank you Listen, Danico Autry gave it everything he had, man. 13 sacks at 33 years old. Lord. Yeah, when, and Way when Big go. Jeff went down, like a, a dominant force, mm-hmm. asked to play more. And this is the other part we're forgetting about. He was asked to play more time. So his snaps, his snap count went up, which they wanted to keep it at a certain limit. But because of Big Jeff going down, you had to raise that up. So that already tells you, hey, man, we not we overused them, but, boy, I mean, he really gave it all he got. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Listen, and this is, this is the time of year, man. Everybody's going to have, like, these really – loud opinions in a, in a positive way and negative way about yeah. each and every guy that they bring in here. Um, so it's fun for us on that, that perspective uh, to have these conversations like Lonzo. We have one cornerback. We signed a guy because of his leadership. Are you kidding me? In all caps. Lonzo, I'm pretty sure this is not the last move at corner. No. Pretty sure they'll do something else. And seven, also, seven, one, yes, four, you five. do need some backup. Sean Murphy Bunting is gone I would I would assume Christian Fulton's going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Like you you need They're gonna reliable bodies yep. there. They're going to overhaul at corner. And I don't know. I like the DC hiring and Denard Wilson. Denard Wilson and I want to see what he can do. Yeah, what's his guys look like? 6157371045 Hunter in Nashville. Hunter, what's up? Hey guys, um, just want to say, uh, Don War, War Eagle. War Eagle, Hunter. Oh, thank you guys. Um, I, I'm just curious to know um, about like the um, with uh, us getting Cushenberry and um, and uh, t- t- Tony Potter. Like, what 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 do y'all think about that? Like, should we get Sydney Gardner Johnson? Like, should we try to go after Calvin Ridley? Like, what's the uh, what's the approach from the Titans right now? Yeah, those are uh, so. Calvin Ridley is a guy mentioned by Jeremy Fowler as the Titans uh, making a push. Um, I like that. Uh, Patriots offensive guard like Mike on on um, who was the number four PFF uh, offensive lineman in twenty twenty two. Mike Girardi has the Titans among the teams going after him. There there are several. Th- this is not it. Like this is not it for sure. I think what Tony Pollard right. does is tells you exactly what has been obvious his last off season when Rand Carthon and at that time, Mike Vrabel both were saying the same thing. We want players that we can put on the field and you can't tell what the play is. We that want to I, be less no, predictable. I, offensively. We want to be less predictable. We want guys that can do multiple things. And that's what they get with Tony Pollard. They get Tony Pollard and Spears, though different running backs. Uh, I think when they're in the game, they can run their entire offense based on either guy. And, you know, Derrick Henry was great, one of the best ever, and we're blessed to have been able to watch his career two down running back, and you kind of knew what was going on when he was in the game. So they want to change what that offense looks like. This is not going to be your old-school Titans offense that we've all seen for 25 years. This is going to be much different. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. it. but. Yeah, no, 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 but but uh, I I I do want to say one thing though, okay. real real quick, Brent. Yep. Um, hey, hey, uh, Don. Um, I I can't wait for Auburn to take the SEC title here <laughs> in the next in, in in the next few days. Okay, War Eagle. War Eagle. Yeah, I, I mean, like it. It's listen, gonna be a beautiful thing. Could get that Tennessee Auburn game on Saturday. Then what does Hart do? Ooh. I just hope they have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has fun. Everybody's going into the NCAA <laughs> tournament. I'm happy. Yeah. Orange slices <laughs> after for everybody. Yep. Just we're going to get those. Get those little uh, Capri drinks, Suns. Some orange juice. That's right. Sit in a circle. Those little box drinks. <laughs> Talk about how we feel. Make sure everybody gets a slice of pizza. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> hey, Hunter uh, brought up Gardner Johnson. I know I had read somewhere that the Eagles were trying to get that deal done. I just don't know how you trade if, if you're done. the Titans. But yes, they're trying to get that deal done. That, that deal, made yeah. that made me think of like these trade possibility, like T. Like Higgins. T. Higgins. T. Higgins out there. What was he tweeting today? Um, no, he didn't tweet it. But on Instagram, which Insta, okay. Slay Slay knows him and his family and all of that. Um, he probably has more insight. But um, so T. Higgins on Instagram, I follow him. His story was uh, was highlights from basketball teams in the state of Tennessee. Mm. So the very first highlight was it said Tennessee really big across the floor. Then a couple of highlights later, it was an MTSU game um, and in a couple of MTSU game highlights. And then <laughs> after that, it was, um, oh, what is it? Uh, Ryan, Ryan, is it Ryan County? 
Uh, Rowan. Rowan. Rowan, yeah. I think Rowan. Why am I blanking? That's I did morning news <laughs> forever. I know all of these counties. Yeah. Come on, Davenport. Yeah. Um, what county? Rowan, R-O-A-N-A-E, right? Roan County. Roan County. Thank you. Roan County. That's Roan R-H-O-A-N-E. Yes. Yeah, Roan yes. County. It's spelled oh. weird, which East is why it messes Good with your like, head. Go back, go back to your <laughs> snow days when you used to sit exactly. there and announce all the school closures. <laughs> yes, I know all of these. So anyway, um, I just thought that was funny and, and a little subtle... Uh, you know, hey, Tennessee, hi, hi. That's no, he's funny. from here, right, Slay? Yeah. Or he's from yeah. Tennessee. Yeah, mm, yeah. he's Tennessee. You know, um, very family-oriented person, too, and, it, like, they love each other. There's right. a picture of him I'm holding... I'm sure his family would love him to play no for question. the Titans. Mm-hmm. There, there was a picture of him floating around holding a TSSAA Mr. Football Award in the Titans locker room with his name on the back of a Titans jersey. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, when he was a kid. But, but to your point, Mayor... I don't, I don't know how the Titans trade, unless you're looking further Listen, draft man. capital, because they don't have it this year. I ain't messing with draft picks. You they, have they the money in free picks. agency. You don't have any collateral for trade. Well, they just need to go get younger, right? Like, they need these draft picks. They hit on all of them last year. They need to hit again this year. And you certainly don't want to move the first or second round pick. You don't have a third round pick. That's why I keep thinking they'll move down from seven. Yeah. Um, but now you don't need that mid-round running back anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you can double up on wide receivers in the mid rounds, go left tackle at seven corner. or ten or thirteen or wherever you take them, and cornerback is a definite need. I've got some of these rankings, by the way. I keep meaning to uh, bring these up in terms of uh, let's see NFL free agency. This from PFF. All right, quarterback. You know who the best quarterback on the board still is, according to them. Oh, Ryan Tannehill. That, yeah, okay. Then Jacoby Brissett. Oh, yeah. How about Jameis Winston? Yeah, see, I go get Jameis just for yeah, the entertainment. Oh, my gosh. We're putting him in the boom boom room. <laughs> He'll be the first backup to go in the boom boom room. There is no telling. He's going to ask if you got crab legs. <laughs> yes, by in abundance for him, too. Free. He Remember he had that year where it was 33 touchdowns and 30 interceptions? <laughs> yeah. He giveth, <laughs> and he taketh away. <laughs> and he went, oh, crap, I need lacing. Maybe I'll actually see the players. That's better. right. But he had started, really, in, what, four years? Yeah, at that time. He's been yeah. a backup um, for a minute. He's yeah. gotten time. He's gotten some run. But, but uh, Tyrod, yeah. Tyrod Taylor next. Sam Darnold, Drew Locke, Tyler Huntley, Josh Dobbs, Mason Rudolph. Running back. The following guys have signed so far. Saquon Barkley. Three years, thirty-seven point seven five million. Bless you, Josh Jacobs. Four uh, with the Eagles, by the way. Barkley stays in the division in the NFC East and goes to the Eagles. Josh Jacobs signed with the Green Bay Packers. Four years, forty-eight million. Tony Pollard with the Titans. Three years, twenty-four. DeAndre Swift with the Bears. Three years, twenty-four. Devin Singletary with the Giants. Three years, sixteen point five. So they shaved a lot of money down. Um, on that, uh, Gus Edwards signed with the Chargers two years to be determined. So who's left running back wise? Derrick Henry, Austin Eckler, J.K. Dobbins, Zach Moss, Deontay Foreman. Remember him? Yeah. Clyde Edwards, Alaire. Uh, wide receiver, T. Higgins franchise. Michael Pittman Jr. resigned with the Colts three years, 70 million. Mm. Mike Evans resigned with the Buccaneers two years, 41 million. Gabe Davis with the Jags. I know some Titan fans had been asking about him. Along with Kendrick, Kendrick Bourne, who re-signed with the Patriots three years, 19.5. Uh, Gabe Davis was three for 39, so that's 13 per for him. Uh, Hollywood Brown still out there. Calvin Ridley, Daryl Mooney, ODB. Are you with me? OBJ, not ODB. <laughs> ODB, you could probably have from Chief at wide receiver. Uh, Tyler Boyd, Curtis Samuel. There's a big list at wide receiver. Uh, tight end Noah Fant is out there. He was in the Russell Wilson deal from the- – from the Broncos back in the day. By the way, what do you think about Russell Wilson to the Steelers for one year? I mean, why wouldn't you? D- Did you see what the money was? You not lo- what's, what's you going to lose? You might as well. Mm-hmm. $1.2 million. You get them at a bargain. <laughs> That's better than a bargain. One point two. I mean. $1.2 million. Why not? Right. Yeah. If anything, too, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they feel they are with Pickett and mm. all of that. But if anything, you have a veteran in there who yep. knows has won and knows how to win. Yep. 
You're um, just upping the quality of your quarterback room for cheap. Offensive tackle Tyron Smith, Trent Brown, Mike Onwenu, who I just mentioned as a guard. They've got him as a tackle. Makai Becton, who I've seen various opinions on him, positive and negative. Jonah Williams, um, you can go down the list there. George Fant, remember him again? Mm-hmm. Back up here. Uh, guard, Kevin Zeitler, Dalton Risner, Damian Lewis. Uh, John Simpson. We'll go through the defense at some point. 615-737-1045. Matthew in Lebanon. Matthew, what's up? Hey, yeah, I would like to uh, talk about Chita Bay mm-hmm. I think he's a good guy for the Titans, for mentorship, for Roger McCreary, and a name that nobody really talks about much because it kind of bit us in the bud. But I think that he might be able to uh, pick up Caleb Farley out of the dumps, man. I think that it's going to be a breakout year for him for sure. <sighs> Just give me a thoughts on that. Another one of my sleigh ride guys. Thank you, Matthew. Thank I would you, Matthew. love Thank you, to see that. I just good guy. I have lost yes. faith in Caleb. I'm, I'm, and he's the one that talked about faith. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, wasting time. Yeah, but somebody's at, wasting. Time. But at the same time, if you get a nibble on that line, we're in business. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got, got my cigar, and my drink sitting on the dock of the bay. If I get a nibble on line, I win. If I don't. I win because I'm just going to enjoy the sunset. Slay, if he gets a nibble, he may get hurt. All right. A hunk. 3HL1045 the zone. <laughs> All right. What is something that maybe you won't buy for yourself, but you would absolutely love? My answer is a spa day or any kind of spa service because everybody loves spa gifts. So why don't you uh, do a that a girl gift for somebody, for the mom that needs a break or maybe your best friend or maybe it's somebody's special holiday. A Moments Peace Salon in Day Spa is the perfect choice for any kind of gift. And the beauty of a Moments Peace Salon and Day Spa is that they have at least 10 different services all in one place at a Moments Peace Salon and Day Spa. And so that way you can get somebody a gift card, say way to go or happy birthday or any of the above at Mother's Day's coming up and they can choose whatever they want, whether that's a massage, a manicure, pedicure, sunless tanning, waxing, spa party, a facial, hair salon, makeup, any of that. It can all be done at a Moments Peace Salon and Day Spa. Gift cards available 24-7 on their website, amomentspeace.com. Call them at 615-224-0770. Or why don't you just stop by? This place smells amazing. Intersection of Carruthers Parkway and Baker's Bridge Avenue, a Moments Peace Salon and Day Spa. Do you need to light up your night? Well, you can with Outdoor Lighting Perspectives of Nashville. That's exactly what we did at my home. Called Bob Lyons, the owner, and said, come on out. We have this great backyard, and, you know, I've got a a stepson that wants to play basketball at night, but we can't see anything at all because we have zero lighting outside and so we came up with a plan and we now have lighting they installed it last week and it is absolutely amazing i got in late saturday night after calling uh some TWSWA basketball games i drive in my driveway i felt safe because it was lit up it has made such a difference too in our backyard i knew it would make a difference i had no idea it would make this much of a difference i love it uh you can do the same here's the deal with outdoor lighting perspectives of now Nashville, been around for over 38 years, a family business, and they will make your home stunning with landscape lighting, oldest landscape lighting company and the leader in LED technology. Uh, Do you want to light up your night? 
Give my friends at Outdoor Lighting Perspectives of Nashville a call. Go visit them online, outdoorlights.com slash Nashville. Three HL one zero four five the zone. Hey, waiting wait. for who are we waiting for? Watching, Caleb Farley. Watching Caleb Farley run them sprints. <laughs> 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 
There are 307 Ladies people currently time. on YouTube. You can be one of them or add to it, I guess. Uh, you can watch us on live YouTube, Facebook Live, and Twitch. Twitch, please. I'll tell you this, man. There are a lot of fired up people. There are a lot of happy people. There, <laughs> And then there's Lonzo. <laughs> and Lonzo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. We need to like go have a margarita or something, sit outside, and enjoy God's day. He should have came and joined <laughs> me on the dock of the bay. Yeah. Uh, Once you get out there, man, it's more of a calming presence about yourself. See, I'm in the chaos right now. I'll go fishing with you, but I ain't gonna fish. I don't have the patience. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the patience. I'll for put it. my pole out there. Yeah, I'll I'll smoke a cigar with you. Yeah, drink a drink a S- bourbon. Sip sip on some bourbon. Sound like a great I time. feel like our guy Lonzo just puts ridiculous stuff in our chat to try and <laughs> get people to come at him. A lot of times it's the conversation for the chat, though. I know, but we might have to. Yeah, Lonzo might get fired up uh, about a potential Tennessee Mississippi State game on Thursday on Friday. That's right. <laughs> Lonzo and them got the first one. Mm-hmm. Bring it on, Bubba. <laughs> What's going on with Mississippi State? They don't seem like they're playing. They're good, man. They just can't can't put the ball in the hole. They don't have <laughs> That's enough a problem weapons. in basketball. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's so it's different in with them because they don't have enough guys like Consistent they got Josh shooter. Hubbard and they got yeah. Tolu Smith that you can mm-hmm. consistently count on. Everybody else that plays major minutes can't shoot from outside 15 feet. Problem. In Probably today's limo. game. In today's game, yeah. Defensively, though, boy, you can run up against them you want to playing. They drag you to the deep end. <laughs> show you, but show you what it worked. Uh, inside linebackers that are available: Patrick Queen, which someone just mentioned. Patrick Queen in the uh, chat, um, great player. Levante David has been a great player for a long time. Bobby Wagner, Aziz Alshire on this list. I listen. I ain't mad at Aziz. He's seventh on this list. But do I think for what he's going to command, could we go get better? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I told y'all. I don't know what he's going to command. I don't know what that position is going to command moving forward. I, I mentioned. Oh, D. Grant brought me back, y'all. My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, please get. Uh, Deion Grant safety. Yeah, Friday, my bad. Because this was the topic that safeties oh, are getting released yeah. and are becoming the new running back, mm-hmm. <laughs> sort of. And I was sold inside linebacker. We'll be that too. Mm-hmm. So. We'll see. 615-737-1045 if you want in. Uh, cornerbacks, uh, Jalen Johnson signed that big deal with the Bears, uh, four-year, $76 million. With Jarius Sneed, franchise tag by the Chiefs. They're trying to trade him one year, $19.8 million. Um, a woozy a is fourth on this list at cornerback. They haven't uh, put the deal up yet, uh, but he was fourth on this list from Pro Football Focus. Fourth corner, Stephon Gilmore. Adoree Jackson still out here. Adoree. Bring a Dory back. Christian Fulton on this list. Mm. See ya. <laughs> what will be? Holla. Deuces. Mm-hmm. Peace. You told somebody peace in the text message. You. That oh. was funny. <laughs> um, I want to hit this at some. Maybe we could hit this now and then get back to football for the five o'clock hour. Hunk, do you have the Utah State women's coach? Oh my gosh. So this is crazy i'm gonna give Hunk time to find it but uh, utah state got bounced right yeah and so then you have the it's funny how they do these press conferences at these tournaments because uh it's the same with the sec like literally the locker room is right around the corner and they just come usually with a couple of players but in this case just the coach and come and they sit at the table and there's tons of people walking around, not even paying attention. Then you've got the media that's there for the press conference that's standing there paying attention. And they had struggled this year and then got bounced from the tournament. And then this was the very end of the Utah State women's coaches press conference. <laughs> and how do you plan to rebuild for next season? I'm not going to be rebuilding. I just coached my last game at Utah State. And I spoke with Diana, and they're going in a different direction. And I respect her decision, and I hope they get a really good coach in. Assuming that's going to be the last question. <laughs> All right. Okay. All Thank right. you. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming that's going to be the last question. All right. See so, ya. Yeah. No, I want to add some follow-ups. Yeah. Like, what do you what do you ask? So, like, how quick was that combo? Because it only you, took you five minutes. Seriously, to get in here. you had to follow up with something there. What? I don't know, but I mean, the, that basically happened with Brady Hoke to us. Like, yeah, Jawan Jennings is off the team, and we're all looking at each other like, crap. I know. I remember that. 
Because like, we all uh, we just froze, and then all of a sudden, and you had put Same your mic thing. down uh, to write something or whatever when he said it, and you like scrambled to get your mic, and we're well, like, and then, wait, what? And then, <laughs> and then for us, it was all about I like eye language, like what am I trying to say? Body language, not body language, but like uh, eye contact. Eye, yeah. There you go. There you go. Slide on. It was all about eye contact to try to figure out, okay, who's asking this next question? Because we, because it was the end of the interview, and mm-hmm. it was the end of the show, wasn't it? I think we had to yes. go long. It was the end of everything, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was the end of the show. I think my immediate was, response was, wait, what? Yeah. And then Mayor, like, jumped in. Well, at that point, it's the who, what, when, why, where. <laughs> like, what what yeah. happened? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. She had uh, it before. I, I'll, I'll tell you all a story about myself. I'm so stupid, y'all. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so dumb. This really happened. Remember the tournament where uh, BP had gone to Auburn, Bruce Pearl was at Auburn, and they played Tennessee in the SEC tournament, and Tennessee beat them by like 35 points or something? You remember that? This was a while ago. Mm. You may not have even been back. Yeah, I probably yeah. wouldn't. And so, I like I said, like everybody's just kind of milling, milling about back there. Like it's a really weird situation, these these – tournament uh press availability things and so i go up to bb and i hadn't seen him in a while and like we had had that 2016 2016 yeah it was the opening game of the tournament in tennessee what was the final 97 to 59 97 59 check out what i asked him you ready for this yeah not a mic you know because we go we go way back right and i hadn't seen him in a long time and i was very thankful that he had like when when he got his show cause uh, we asked if he wanted to be the uh, basketball insider guy for us, and he did two two uh, days a week during basketball season. And was very very kind to do it, and then he got the ESPN job right second year of his show mm-hmm. calls. But he still did our show, and I just thought that was awesome. And so like I was excited to see him. So like what had just happened exited my mind, <laughs> right? Yeah, clearly not his. <laughs> He's such he's such a nice guy though. So mm-hmm. I went up to him and he's standing by himself, kind of like you know, with his. You can see me on uh, YouTube, Facebook Live, or Twitch. Twitch, please. But he's got kind of his head in his hand. I go, "Hey, coach, what's going on? How are you?" And he, he looked up at me and he goes, "Brent, I'm not doing real well, man." That's I go, him too. "I'm sorry." That's him. And he's like, "No, no, no. I get it. Yeah, it take me a while. I, I get it. I understand." <laughs> Uh, how big of an idiot am I? How are you? You just lost by 40 <laughs> to the team you just coached. Uh, to, for, to follow that story about the Utah State women's coach, uh, yeah. she won a combined nine games over the past two seasons, finished this year 5-25 and 25 yeah. and 2-16 and 16 in the Mountain West. And in this game, she got beat 85-49. to 49. So it was Wow. Almost the same score. Yeah. That was, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was. Yeah. Yeah, she she knew she was out. Mm-hmm. I mean, might as well break your own story there, right? I mean, hey, overall record of twenty four and ninety in four seasons. Coach, who are your sources? Including ten but listen, of sixty two in conference play. You yeah, know I BP think, as well as anybody. Yeah. Can you imagine me walking up after he loses by forty? You did. You I, everything you just did. That's him looking up like that. Like not doing well, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> him. Like that's a lot it. of guys would be. How the hell you think I'm doing? Yeah, but he yeah. wasn't like that. He was just yeah. like, I'm not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> comma idiot i mean that was like <laughs> if his words had a font like they came out into like a the little bubble a little bubble like in a cartoon it would be like sorry yeah. idiot idiot comma idiot uh all right uh five o'clock hour coming up uh candy b on youtube gardner Minshew to the raiders yep we talked about that i that was my that was my desire at uh, backup quarterback we've got another one that might make some sense for you. We'll tell you about it next. Also, if you want to react, we want today's reaction day. Titans pick up Cowboys running back Tony Pollard, Broncos center Lloyd Cushenberry, and the cornerback from the Bengals, a A. They lose Danico Autry to the Texans, SMB, Sean Murphy bunting the corner to Arizona. If you want to weigh in, 615 737 1045. What up? What's happening? Good people. 
Yes, listening to my voice right now, you probably thinking, what is Slay going to talk about? I'm going to tell you about engagement. Yes, you got an engagement that's coming up. You want to surprise someone. It's springtime, man. Spring up on them. You know, the rain brings May flowers and all of this. It can also bring diamond rings. Yes, you want to get right into it. This will be beautiful to go to Brentwood Jewelry, BrentwoodJewelry.com. 7012 Church Street East, located in the heart of Brentwood, just off Franklin Road. Don't know exactly what to go get. Why not let Brandon and the team get you together. They always come through for you. They came through for me. Brentwood Jewelry has new two hours also right now. Back open on Mondays. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So hustle on in. Don't feel comfortable going in, which you should. Go to BrentwoodJewelry.com, click on the site, boom, and go browsing. Exceptional style, exceptional deals. This has been happening every single day for over 50 years. All right. Are you thinking about purchasing a new Ford truck? Oh, yeah. The time is now at Two Rivers Ford because it's truck month. They've got financing rates as low as 1.9%, no payments for 90 days, bonus cash offers, and all of this is on top of Two Rivers Ford being the best there is anyway. Uh, They're low prices. They always sell below MSRP. If you saw our boy Buck's commercial, that was his only line in the commercial. That's all he could remember, I'm sure. Uh, Way below MSRP, actually. But the best part about Truck Month is that there is no pressure because Two Rivers Ford has a non-commissioned sales team. So if you're interested in test driving a car, not ready to purchase yet, that's not a problem. They're there to help you. And you can even call them and schedule a test drive at your house Whatever makes it easiest for you. There's a reason Two Rivers Ford has been a landmark local business in our community for over 40 years. And there's a reason they're one of the top Ford dealers in the entire country. Two Rivers Ford, the South's most trusted Ford dealer.
Good evening from the 104.5 The Zone Studios. I'm Joe Hunk. Titans have already made three deals today, according uh, to multiple sources. Now, today's the legal tampering period day, and that begins. The 13th is when all these deals can become final. Earlier in the day, the reports say that the Titans are in an agreement to bring in Tony Pollard to a three-year deal, $24 million. Also, center Lloyd Cushenberry has agreed to sign with the Titans in just a little while ago. News broke about Chidobe Awuzie as he has agreed to a deal with the Titans for three years. Last year, he started 10 games for the Bengals, had 57 tackles, had one fumble recovery, and two tackles for loss. And if you remember in Super Bowl 56, he also had an interception for the Bengals against Matthew Stafford and the Rams. For all your foundation repair and waterproofing needs, you need to visit USSTN.com. Breaking news at once on your home for the Vols. The Flash Flagship station for you, Tennessee Titans, as well as home to 3HL. This is 104.5 The Zone. Three HR one zero four five. The zone busy day in the NFL, and we're here for it. You want in? All lines are open. You can get on in if you've been calling and getting the busy signal. Um, maybe you just got in your car. Titans making moves today. All kinds of moves around the NFL, and we are here for crazy. it and for you. Speaking of crazy, 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 crazy. Don Davenport is here. Oh, that's Wait not a crazy. <laughs> Did y'all plan that? <laughs> no, that was kind of work like that. Do we plan anything? <laughs> no, but I kind of saw where that was going, so I was ready. <laughs> What's up, huh? Why did you see where it was going, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> see, you said just let us drown You're on our own, You're about to dig huh? your <laughs> grave back there oh, no, again. I'll make it worse by saying something like, because any statement you can make about Don, you can also say about my wife. So that was something I would have said about my wife. <laughs> I will say this about I'm glad Don your Davenport. wife doesn't listen often. <laughs> I, think, I think the tw- the 27 year veteran cop that called in on Friday, talking to Miss Davenport, Mrs. Yeah, Davenport directly um, about being safer on the roads, <laughs> which led to an unexpected rant from Don, where she said, "Y'all just need to get out of the fast lane so I can break the law safely." <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. It was like five minutes on that. Break that the law so safely. Good. That was so good. Like, would you <laughs> rather me swerving in and out of traffic? Exactly. Or just get out of my way? I stand by this rant. So coming in to work today, <laughs> I'm going like, I don't know. I was going flow of traffic in the fast lane, so I, I honestly didn't know how fast I was going. Mm-hmm. Um, when I saw this Auburn tainted <laughs> SUV vehicle <laughs> in the lane next to the fast lane. I was like, that's Don Davenport. Look, that's Babsy. And I go flying past Babsy. I'm like, man, she's being really responsible today. She's not in the fast lane. She's just over here cruising, enjoying the nice day. You I was on the phone. <laughs> you should have hung going. Somehow, but I wasn't holding it. Somehow you still beat me to the office. Yeah, how did that so happen? Did. <laughs> so awesome. Well, when you turned, remember where the old deja vu used to be? Uh, Nashvillians, uh-huh. um, where mm-hmm. you get off at Demumbrian. Yep. And, okay, so sitting at that light. A lot of times it gets backed up because we have to go left oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the other one. So I got into the right lane and then couldn't get back over. So I had to go past Tin Roof around the yeah, traffic maybe. circle. Yeah. See, I hit it perfectly. I was the first one in the line and, yeah. and went the short way. So there right. you go. The, but the, I was just uh, amazed. So when I passed you, and I passed you like you were standing still, it was weird. And as so I looked down, I was going 76 miles an hour. Because at that point, I thought, man, I must be going like 90. And I don't even know. Right? It. Fast Babsy. This Here's the other I've thing I did. I've never passed her, ever. I gave myself a little extra time today because I knew I wanted to, like, sit That's down. That's the other and, part. And, this was, like, 2.20 in the afternoon. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So I didn't feel the need to go 90. You didn't feel the need? The for need speed. For speed. That's right. You know what the wildest thing is about this entire story? <laughs> is that I was going slow? <laughs> no, not even that. Just to go back, like, you talking to the police officer about why you should be able to break the law like <laughs> safely yeah like safely like this only Babs can 
have this conversation. He said. He did I mean, not appreciate he it. He said, <laughs> Mrs. Davenport, the speed limit on the interstate in the state of Tennessee is 70 miles per hour. <laughs> he came on so unassuming. So and he was so like, kind yeah, and, like, was. respectful. Like, I know in his, he is. He really his, was. He, like, kind of quiet. In his puking of Davenport, he was, like, Really respectful. That's yeah. one of them rub you back while you're talking to him. Like, I know you're going to do this again, yeah. but listen to me. Just please. But listen, you are a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was very, that was the most unexpected part of my day. Uh, but now we get to go home in the bright sunshine. Yes, yeah, it is forward, your forward. time. That's my right. time, baby. You didn't even miss that hour, did do you? Do you, you want to yes. know something? You did. Slay did. Jeez. I know Slay did with his schedule. I yeah. happened to wake up at 4.30 in the morning on Sunday morning. So I walk out in the kitchen and... I noticed that it was really 5.30, and I was like, oh, okay, it's acceptable for me to be up now. <laughs> like, I really didn't want to get back in bed, you know? <laughs> I'm just going to stay up. Cause yeah. yeah. Good job. Time for the, time for the blinds and yeah. all that stuff. Like I got that. tricked because I saw that my kids didn't wake up until 7 a.m. I was like, oh, my goodness, they slept till 7. It was really 6 o'clock yeah. when they normally get up. And I was Wrong. like, oh, never mind. So were you affected? Me? Yeah. Yes. What time was your flight? 11. But oh, Okay, I, that's not bad. I didn't get in. I didn't get off the set to twelve. Oh yeah, because go noon to twelve, and then so by the time you go to sleep, it's already three in the morning instead of two in the morning. And I want to get up. I had my alarm set at eight, so I could get up and get first watch, and then go to the airport. Oh, first watch. Yeah, but it messed up my whole routine because of the darn hour. So I really got up at nine. What do you get at first watch? The trifecta: waffle, extra egg, scrambled cheese, onions, mushrooms, spinach, (laughs) hot chocolate. And bacon end? crispy. My gosh. Hot right, syrup. Is that all? <laughs> Hot syrup. Are you Hot done syrup. or taking a breath? <laughs> I didn't know you could get the syrup pot. You can get the syrup pot. You got to know somebody. <laughs> all right. Uh, I know these people. Uh, Slay is here. How about that? I'm in a building. I'm in a building. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what <laughs> ponders. I was pondering. There's no pondering today. Okay, we've yeah, got we get straight to we've it. got okay, way okay, too much okay, NFL okay. news. All right, I had all it right. on Slay's intro, and then I accidentally bumped it down. It was cool. It was cool. Titans uh, are going to sign <laughs> Cowboys running back Tony Pollard. He's from Memphis. Memphis Melrose in the house. Orange Mound. Three years, twenty-four million. So that's eight million per. King was making eleven point two. So the entire uh, running back combo, the superpower combo of Pollard and Spears. Mm-hmm. Spollard? I like <laughs> Spillard. <laughs> CJ Spillard? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Pollard. that's too close. Yeah, I can't that's, see yeah, that. Pollard and Spears will make uh, the, the accounting firm of Pollard and Spears will make uh, nine, 9.2, I think. Uh, so significantly less uh, than um, what that position paid out to the top two guys last year. Broncos center, Lloyd Cushenberry. It'd be better if his name were Crushenberry. No, or cushion. He's a cushion. He gives a good cushion in the pocket for him. Oh, Will Levis. Yeah, the cush. 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 Yeah, cush that's lash. right. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of myself, Jerry. <laughs> I I said this at the start of the show, but I love. love. I am so in mm-hmm. love with this move. I adore it. It is amazing. This is. I don't have to talk about. Tough as a $2 steak, but too small anymore. I don't have to watch crappy snaps anymore because crappy somebody's snaps. trying to I get the ball this. out quick because he's not big enough to handle I the position. Oh, I mean, the relief of them signing a reliable snapper. Does about a good. 57 games played, 57 games started. He played every single snap his rookie year, started all 16 games as a rookie. First game, ironically enough, as a pro was against the Titans. Six foot three, 302 pounds. So what's OLJ going to do with a good offensive lineman? Oh, my gosh. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> offensive line Jesus, by the way. That's what we call Bill Make Cowboy. him that's, great. That's Billy. Make him great then. Maybe oh, make no. him Jay. a Hall of Famer. Don't scratch him off. Make him great then. <laughs> <laughs> cross him off then. Aaron Brewer crossed off. Um, guess what? So, guess what? Though, Babs, you so could harsh. keep him as a swing guy. Yeah. yeah, you could. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. <laughs> He's just done. You can put him at right guard. Dude, no, I, like don't get me wrong. I love Aaron Brewer. I love that he's oh. tough as a two dollars steak. Remember I when he? Remember when he came on the show? All of we him, except for his size. Yeah. yeah, we were all about that dude. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Tough, it's just, man. yes. So, uh, double tough is how Mike Dettelier <laughs> described Cushionberry. Double tough. Yes, yeah. because oh, it's like an he, Oreo. Yeah. And so, <laughs> Cushionberry was at LSU. Obviously, there is nobody with better LSU knowledge of their players and teams than Mike Dettelier and all of that. So, yes. Will you get him on this week? I meant to ask you that yes, off the air, please. I will. Or but, I did text him. That's the first guest I ever booked in this business mike to tell you really oh, oh he's the best ago. i could listen to him talk for days uh so he texted <laughs> randomly i did not text and ask him anything he randomly said man y'all got a real good one in cushionberry smart efficient long-armed you let me like say that, that again long-armed <laughs> yeah. and double tough and so of course i respond and i'm i said uh long-armed is my favorite part of this yeah. text yeah. You know, with with what the Titans had dealt with at center. And he said he's not tall. He does have really long arms, though. He was really the unsung hero of 2019 of that team and keeping Joe Burrow upright. And he said, absolutely great leader. Wasn't an A-lister. Les Miles recruited him, but he had originally... um, Committed to South Carolina, LSU had a scholarship open like last minute and they ended up getting him and signing him. And he was a steady guy and a huge leader for them in that program. I mean, it was a great get. So and then I had random couple other LSU people that texted me saying this is my this is like my favorite human being in the entire wow. world. Great guy. Wow. I mean, Loved just it. raving That's about award right him. there. Yes, it is. That's where it was coming from. Wow. Yes. That's kind Raven of you, about him. You can put on a tombstone. That's some serious stuff right there. Yep. Um, I wonder what Greg C. thinks of the new center, Scoop Richardson. We'll ask him on Thursday. 615-737-1045 if you want in. Brian will lead us off. Gator Mike wants to give Vandy credit. Stay there, Gator Mike. I want to hear that. He we'll was be, there for we'll that. We'll be right back on 104.5 The Zone. <laughs> What up, my good people? Listen, man, Big Slay right here bringing this to you. You know how I love the natives right here. Yes, you know, I call myself the Tennessee mud, going all the way from West Tennessee to East Tennessee, residing right here in Middle Tennessee. And that's why, that's why I relate to my guy, Chuck McDowell, local Nashville native, caring about the community and proud to serve them. Chuck reinvests in the people and the places that make Nashville such a wonderful place. That's why Wesley Mortgage is right here for the saving. So if you're in the mortgage industry and you're tired of the grind, tired of the pressure, and tired of micromanaging everything to make sure your clients get handled correctly, then you owe it to yourself to go. Why? What? Go buy Wesley.com for confidential uh, listen, it's going to be an answer every time you need one. While all, all other mortgage companies are downsizing, Chuck McDowell and Wesley Mortgage team are rapidly expanding in Nashville, so you should get on board. It's real simple. Whywesley.com is where you go. Wesley Mortgage is currently recruiting top mortgage talent. Go be some of that top mortgage talent and get you some money, baby. They're hiring Wesley Mortgage, whywesley.com. How about get you some hair? Yes, do it. If you're losing it. Uh, I So I sit here. We have our chat up in front of us, and which includes video, which means you can see everything that's wrong with you. So after I had a baby and then <laughs> after I had COVID, my hair started falling out. Um, and so when we were talking about a new show partner and all of that, HBI Hair Partners came up. And I was all in because of that, Mayor. Yeah, and wherever you are in that stage, and and you look at the mirror, uh, and you look at yourself um, every day, uh, and it could just be a thinning thing, or it could be something more advanced. Either way, this consultation that you're going to do, 45 minutes, that's it. Uh, over there in Maryland Farms, hpihairpartners.com. Go to the website, check out all they do, because they're going to help you, and it's really no big deal. Yes, I'm going next week for mine. Uh, Mr. Babs, I'm getting him in on it, too, as well. Maybe you have receding hairline. Maybe you just want uh, thicker hair, whatever. They have solutions for you, and they have more than 30 years of success helping people regrow their hair. Experience the power of hair science for yourself and get started today. Yeah, and this is not your pro- like fault. This is not your fault. Like This happens, and they'll be able to help you easily with that 45-minute consultation. 615-662-80. 722 HPI Hair Partners.com.
Three HL one zero four five. The zone. This song gives Don Davenport karaoke anxiety. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five. The money is out for a woozy. Eh? Before we get to that, and you're going to be blown away. Before we get to that, Gator Mike wants to give Vandy credit. Gator Mike, what in the world? <laughs> well, it, it comes with an asterisk, Brent. Okay. They 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 outplayed us. They wanted the game more. Ron saw it, right, Ron, on on the TV. Yes, I did. And you know they 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 had like eighteen more shots from the field than us, Brent. It went to the free throw line eight more times than we did. But they out-rebounded us 20-6. to six. We're one of the top offensive rebounding teams in the country. It was just wow. pathetic. But pathetic. to be fair, I sent this to Ron. Florida's up three late in the game, under 30 seconds. Dandy takes a shot. Tyree Samuel gets the rebound. Florida fans are excited, gets fouled. Everybody's all excited. But then they called the foul on Tyree Samuel. And you look at the replay, it was just a great flop by the Vandy player. Right, Ron? Yep, that, but that's what that's what happens when you – that's why the coaches always tell you, man, go to the boards if you're supposed to be going to the boards. Right. So, Brent, so what happened is they hit two free throws. They, Florida's still up one. All we got to do is inbounds the ball because Vandy's got a foul. Walter Clayton makes a lazy inbound pass. Uh, tries to do a bounce pass inbounds. And Riley Kugel stopped Maybe coming to the ball. It. Yeah. Get the ball to Ty and Lawrence. He goes in, scores on a floater. Florida goes down, calls timeout. Only has four seconds to draw up a play from the sideline. And uh, Bandy defended well. Walter Clayton dribbles off his foot, and Bandy gets a one-point win. So, all in all, a call that changed the game, but Bandy still had to do the stuff to win the game. And you look at the overall stats and stuff, they beat us. But, Brent, you also saw, it's sad for Bandy Nation, the number one, Stackhouse wasn't out there for senior introductions, which was wild. And then number two, the fan support was only like half full. And then three, half full is good I for told you. Right now. Yeah, 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 yeah they, boot, they booed Stackhouse at the introduction. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, all in all, I mean, crazy day, but uh, I just want to give you my take on that. Yeah, there's unhappiness there. Well documented. <laughs> real quick, uh, real quick, before we move on the football, Let me, I, that Stackhouse situation, I look at it as him taking himself out of the picture and letting those guys have it because if he, he would have been anywhere around, through. like he, the, it would have been shifted to him, and they would have been oh, born. So it's a damned thing. if yeah. you do, damned if you mm-hmm. don't situation. You see, they are boot. <laughs> Y'all wanting them out there on the floor for the senior introductions, but don't want them on the floor when they call them and say this is the coach of the team. Yeah. And so then, what, and would, he got booed. Would you rather co- coach with a walkie-talkie from his office? So, the, <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, interesting take there. Just saying. Um, yeah. So congrats to Vandy on the one point win over Florida. Budget sports cards. You can watch the show live YouTube, Facebook Live, and Twitch. Twitch, please. <laughs> Vandy, Chris. Breaking news. Yeah, stop crying. Damn. <laughs> Van, I, I'm with Vandy you on Chris. It. Just beat him. Yeah. <laughs> just beat him. I'm feeling Vandy Chris. Yeah. <laughs> that's and a, a behold. About that's, a, that's a good tweet. Or <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Uh, budget sports cards. Breaking news. Traylon Burks traded to Two Rivers Ford for employee of the month, Jimmy, from Oil Change. Hey, see, stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all leave my boy alone. I, I can't. Soon as basketball season over, y'all, I'm telling y'all. That was Burks, funny, though. All day long. Team Burks with my jersey on. Rocking and rolling. Let's go. It's not funny, you <laughs> It was funny. <laughs> I'm down yeah. for funny. We trying to get rid of my guy, man. He no, I'm Burks. down. You, you converted me. And he converted himself to me. <laughs> okay. With his quotes to uh, Jimmy White. I was like, okay, I'm down. Yeah, man. No injuries this offseason. He's story. working out with his teammate, DeAndre mm-hmm. Hopkins, and his friends. <laughs> and friends. Yeah. Hopkins and friends. I'm I'm down for it. Yeah. He come, I'm telling you. He's, he's not catching back. 70 balls, though, Slay. No. No, I'm not. Okay. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no, I said, yeah, I did. I think you said 80. Yeah, I think you went a little high, yeah. yeah. I I think impactful balls is all I'm looking for them to be able to catch. All right. The transcontinental, I don't want him running (laughs) go routes all day long. Clean it out for people. I mean, he did. And he will not with this offense. For for a minute. As long as he shows up. Until they switched to to Levis, he had the longest catch. Remember, yep. seventy yards. He mm-hmm. got past the guy on the on the nine round down yep. the sideline. Mm-hmm. Hunk just walked back in the room. You totally miss. You totally oh, miss this, it. Hunk. He would have loved it. 
Slay Dog literally said, "I'm I'm just looking for impactful balls." Yeah, I uh, I was listening as I was uh, eating my lunch outside. Okay. And um and <laughs> eating my lunch I outside. Did. It's five thirty. You saved it. I know. It's just it happens like that for me. Uh, and Slay was talking about the balls that he wants Traylon to hold. Listen, so, yes. and he also, by the way, he also said uh, in the beginning, y'all gave him a little break. He actually said a hundred in the beginning. Yeah, right. I know he did. I wouldn't know. And that was crazy. I like how I like how Davenport's calling for you to clip something that that Slay said. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, well, because there's way too many Davenport clips. There's a lot of Davenport clips. <laughs> there is. This room back there. And there's one that's getting made into a promo eventually. I hate you. <laughs> that, that should be one. I Listen, <laughs> Babs, I mean, you 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 give these things life. And it's for the enjoyment of the people. I am open <laughs> for Burks. She's not buying this. No. She's not buying my argument. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for a woozy A's money? Let's get it. Chitobe Ooh. got paid. This is going to make you really be upset that Danico Autry went to the Texans for two years, $20 million. All right, here you go. Three years. How old is he going to be? 29. He's going to be 29 in May. Three years, $36 million with $23 million guaranteed. Wow. That's really surprising to me. That's, mm. that's you're going to come in. You're going to be a starter. You're going to set the tone here. You're going to help us build the culture. You're going to do all that. That's starter money for That's sure. That's starter money. Oh. <clears throat> Is it? It's hard to. Thirteen million per season. Oof. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Autry got ten million per. Hmm. To leave. That's a tough one right there. Listen, you, um, market difference. You need corner. Market's different. Corners are paid different. Mm-hmm. All those things. Um, He's younger by far. That means that he is the eleventh highest paid cornerback per year in the NFL. Holy moly! Cur- currently, well, at now we also moment. we also don't know what the deal really looks like. There's there's all that. more, yeah, all and, of that. But still, and he's coming. He's coming off an ACL injury, right? Well, that was last off season. That's what I'm saying. Or so, last year, yeah, made it through. So, how many times have we seen? The year after we the comeback, better. where be they're better, better. Yep. Yep. and Corn obviously ACL Brian Callahan knows him First, view. really well, First, knows yep. what he's capable of. But I, I feel like that's what's the guaranteed money, money? DHB twenty three million guaranteed. Twenty three million guaranteed. I'm, I'm a listen, Ooh. man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a trust it. I'm, I'm a trust Callahan on this one. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, is you had to see something. You had to see something every day. Um. When know, pointing at the George Pickens situation, mm-hmm. I, that's that's the NFL. You're gonna get got. If that's the only thing you can point to, then I'm cool with it. One game, you know what I'm saying? A dynamic receiver who had a day, who was needing to have a day, where you talk about pressure being on in a rivalry, Pickens delivered. I'm cool with that. They got be but two gotta, big deep. You have to go and deliver with that money being paid, though. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, Darren Apollo said that there were a few other teams after him. Yeah, but once they saw that money. Probably. But <laughs> he also uh he also tweeted that he was interested in joining former Bengals OC Brian Callahan in Tennessee to help set the culture there. Which Mayor, you had heard that they were looking for a corner, older, veteran, to help when it comes to some of the young guys around right. there and that's why to, we to set them. that culture. But mm-hmm. I, I'm surprised by the money, though. <laughs> oh, big time. 13 per. Yep. Well, you better be starting. You better be setting culture. <laughs> you want to be starting something. He's, <laughs> be starting he's the something. new Kevin Byard, then. If he's coming in there to set the culture on by, the defense. By side. the way, I saw Ke- – so Kevin Byard to the Bears, if y'all missed that over the yeah. weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, man, he that's a good fit for him. He seems like a Bears kind of yep. guy. Anyway – um. I looked it up. He's made like fifty nine. He's made fifty nine million, I think, in his career. And then you look at what is it with Kirk Cousins? Like I'm like I heard Blaine talking about this earlier, and we've talked about it. Like I don't understand the love affair that everybody has with Kirk yeah, Cousins. I used to think the same thing about Jeff George. Like that was this other guy. But like Kirk Cousins will have made over four hundred million dollars if he get, when he gets <laughs> through this crazy. contract. Yeah. How many playoff is- wins does he have? One. And it was the weird Saints it game. Was, it was the tip to, to Diggs. One playoff win. By the end of this contract, he will have made more money than Tom Brady and played and won seven less Super Bowls than him as well. <laughs> seven less. <laughs> 
if anybody's counting. <laughs> Nuts. Okay, how about how about Tom Brady has won seven times the Super Bowls as Kirk Cousins has won playoff games? <laughs> wow. Wow. Ooh, so Cousins to Atlanta, which what we had day. heard that they already bought a house there. Yeah. yeah. So what? his wife is from now. Do you remember when the Falcons had a chance at Lamar Jackson? Bought. For basically what? Ten million more than what mm. they're paying Cousins? I don't remember that. Yeah. I do remember this. Wow. We were we were talking about this. I, I didn't know that. So we're at the SEC tournament Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday in the concourse to so come by and see us if you're going to the games. It's Hello. so much fun. That's like the most fun event. Uh, but we were there whenever whenever the Titans signed Ryan Tannehill, it happened while we were sitting there at the SEC tournament. I remember that. So you never know what's going to happen this it week. It was. <laughs> Let me just tell you. It was a no-brainer win because the Dolphins paid a ton of his money. Yep. I mean, it's no Russell Wilson situation. but going to say it, yeah, it went mm. to that extent, but it was it was Russell Wilson to the Steelers for one point two one million. He's going to get thirty eight and change from Denver. That's crazy. One point two million. Probably. I'd take a chance in Pittsburgh too. I'm sure Kenny Pickett's like jerks. Yeah, because I get so, wicked. Look, competition to, to correct y'all on something because we all forgot it. Uh, yep. You're right about Kirk Cousins at least getting the win against the Saints. It was Case Keenum that threw the pass. Oh. To Diggs, because oh, Cousins got funny. injured earlier in that oh, game. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and that's no, I had no idea. Yeah, wow. it was Case Keenum that Case got that. Keenum. So, so Cousins has only has one <laughs> win on record in the NFL as a starter in the postseason, and he didn't even actually get the win. Was, he got credit for the save. Or the pre-save. Or the pre, yeah. <gasps> that's tough. Starting that's, pitcher. Got that's tough right though. Yes. One win. I just don't understand. Maybe Pick I'm wrong. Own. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think that's always the question have, around him. He does have good numbers, but like he never shows up. In always big does. Games. Always has good numbers. Maybe that's what the line is looking for. A lot um, of weapons down there. Titans today. Cowboys running back Tony Pollard. Broncos center Lloyd Cushenberry. Cornerback uh, from Bing- the Bengals, Awuzie. Man, the money there. Three for 36, 23 guaranteed. SMB to the Cardinals. John Murphy Bunting, former Titans corner. Danico Autry to the Texans, two years, $20 million. Mm. 10.5 guaranteed. Wow. All right. Uh, Brian next up on 3HL. Brian, what up? Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Got a couple doing? quick items. Um, mm-hmm. One, so what's the amount of money left that the Titans have to shop with? Now, I've not been hearing that with all these contracts. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Uh, let, me, uh, let me try to we'll pull it up. We'll put it all together, yeah. Yeah, let me try to pull it up. Yeah. The other is... You know, you now the Titans are starting to fill some of their needs out. Do you still think they stay at the number six, seven pick? Or do they try to push back maybe in the later first round and try to get that number three pick back? And then also uh, any chance that they bring Al Shire back um, this season? I think Al Shire is too expensive. <clears throat> but um, for what they'll do at inside linebacker, but I, I don't know. I think I think he's gonna sign somewhere else. Yeah. What do you think, Slay? I think the same. I, 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 thank you, Brian. I was, and, and then on at the same, I, I want to um, search the market as far as that middle linebacker spot because um, they're gonna need two of them. Yeah, you're gonna need two. And I like someone that can feel between the 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 the, the tackle spot, like not get caught up in the wash. Um, I thought Aziz did get better throughout the year. Um, wasn't much on the line at the end of the year, though, when he was getting better. So, I mean, everybody has growth. I, I, and a lot of this is because sitting and watching the game with with a former inside linebacker and Keith Bullock. Yeah, um, I, I started to have a different perspective. So, um, that's why I kind of shift to and get my knowledge from about this spot. Uh, in terms it of looks like 30, 33 million is what they've spent today. Oh, that ain't nothing. I've got them still number two, but I, again, I, I don't know if this thing is getting updated quickly. Um, no, we don't know how these contracts are. I, I know really, I've said exactly. it. We don't know how they're but structured. You keep it. So <laughs> this is just a guess when you look at the per, right? Yes, exactly. Um, I mean, this is going to be a fluid situation all week, and uh, I'm looking at uh, Commanders at number one, Titans at number two, Patriots at number three in terms of cap space. So 
Uh, we'll see. But a lot of things happened today for a lot of teams. And uh, there, it was no trickle-out effect uh, at all. It was no, like, boom. open up the fire hydrant. And Let's go. Boom, yeah. Just information all over the place. I expect it will be that way uh, pretty much all week. What did they come in with? 80? Uh, no. 85? Hon- honestly, it's different depending on what site you go to. Right. They all but, calculate I mean, it differently. We're it's, in the, it's crazy. In the same ballpark, at least. Yeah. So. I'll look at a couple different sites when we I, come back. Mm-hmm. I have an update for you on uh, Lloyd Cushenberry's deal. All right, we'll do that next. 3HL 104.5. It's this rich. All right, I want to talk to you about Pella Windows and Doors of Nashville. Sometimes it is just time to upgrade things in your home, right? Like your windows and doors. And maybe it is not, you know, exactly what you want to spend money on in your house, but you have to because the time has come. That's how it was for us. And I chose Pella Windows and Doors of Nashville. I'm a customer, so I can tell you exactly how the experience went and I've loved it. Uh, And you might be surprised to learn that windows replacement windows are actually pretty affordable with Pella windows and doors affordable and the best quality out there because Pella was voted number one by Nashville homeowners as the leading window brand in Nashville that's based on a 2022 survey of leading window brands among homeowners I love a good deal I love to pass along a good deal to you guys. You hear me say it all the time. You tell them Don sent you and you get this deal. Uh, I always try to make that happen. Pella Windows and Doors of Nashville right now has 50% off qualifying installations and no money down, no interest, no payments for 12 months. So schedule your free consultation. Check out that limited time special offer at PellaNashville.com. What's happening, folks? Let's get your energy back up right now, fellas. If you've been feeling a little tired, a little grumpy, notice a lack of motivation and drive, you got weight gain and loss of muscle mass, well, these could all be signs of low testosterone levels. I got a way for you to fix that. Low T Center. That's where you need to head on over to. Easy to get your levels checked. I'm telling you, get your results back in about 25 minutes. So make your health and quality of life a priority. Go to LowTCenter.com to book your appointment online today. That's LowTCenter.com. Reinventing men's health care.
Three tail one zero four five. The zone. Brent Doherty, Don Davenport, Ron Slay. Hope you're having a great Monday. Is that what today is? Today is Monday. What up, people? It's kind of a fun Monday, though. It is. We got a good energy. We got a lot of activity. I think it's a fun Monday for Cushenberry if oh, the uh, reports Monday. on his deal are correct. Oh, somebody talk to me because I don't know. Got it, Mayor. Hunk has it. Hunkster. Four years, fifty million dollars, twenty six million fully guaranteed at signing, thirty million total in the in the signing bonus, mm. the bonus, and thirty million cash flow over two years, which is the most ever for a center. Woo! You found your piece, then. All along with oh, well, along with OLJ. Yeah, we knew this money was going to be big. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, man. Let's go, man. Show up at front line. Let your let your guy sit back up with the, what is statu statuesque? Statuesque. Statuesque. There you go. <laughs> statuesque. Statuesque. Back there, Will Levis. Stand down the pipe and go. Throw it. Get it to D Hop. But better yet, get it to Traylon Burks. All right. <laughs> Gets it to him. Maybe out of bounds. <laughs> Joseph. What? Stop it. I was just, just saying. He caught it. Anyway. No, I think this is good, man. You 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 get an anchor in this spot. He's as important as your linebacker. He's as important as your quarterback. He's as important as your safeties. Well, he's communicator guy for the That's entire right. offensive line, and he's got a second-year guy right next to him. How much of a benefit will that be for Skoronsky to have this kind of level of dude? Huge. Yes. Um yeah, and so a benefit to the quarterback in terms of communication and helping call the call out the middle linebacker and all those things. And mm-hmm. and uh, Will Levis said that was actually the hardest part uh, in terms of transitioning from the college so football to the NFL. So let's make it easy. Um, and maybe that goes back to, again, like, you know, the Titans just had a bunch of rotational guys that had to start on the offensive line, and Aaron Brewer was one of them. And I, had no choice. I just keep going back to that. Like, identifying the middle linebacker, the center is supposed to help the quarterback with that yep. until, you know, you're a veteran enough. But they, you could still you could still see them have that conversation before the snap. And then it made me think of what Taylor Lewan said before the season, like Brewer moving to center. He was like, he's a quiet dude. You've got to be loud. Like, that's the one thing I wonder about is what he said. And I wonder if that was an issue. I don't know. Mm-hmm. The mentality was there. The effort was there. It's just I mean, physical, competitor, all of those things. But you're still like this guy's the number two guy in PFF, and Brewer was 34 out of 35 out of 37. I mean, right. This guy's given up two sacks in two years and 16 pressures. Brewer gave up 34 pressures this year. In the words of the I mean, great that's Beyonce. an upgrade. Wow. What? We were on the same path. What did you say? I said, in the words of the great Beyonce, and then you said upgrade. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. Let me upgrade you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. And huge for the future. And now you have your, your hopefully, if you're the Titans, franchise quarterback and center together for a run. Mm -hmm. Depending on how much each contract is, just based on average, the Titans have spent $51 million of their free agent money for this year. But again, it comes back to what Don said. It depends how this is all manipulated. We don't know how they're structured yet. And they will manipulate the numbers. Yep. But this this gives you an idea, at least. Yeah. And they came in with, I can't remember what their final number was, but I think it was 80-something million. Mm-hmm. But it's like, for example. Um, Left in cap space. A woozy A's contract. Three years. Maybe it's really a two-year two deal. Two-year deal, right. And a lot of the money is backloaded on that third year. I don't know, you right. know, to your point. Hope it didn't sign of all. Yeah, according to Spot Track, Titans came into today with $80.3 million. <laughs> There you go, eighty point three. But it's it not somewhere like it's, around there. But it's not as simple as just subtracting the fifty from the eighty. It's right. not that simple. But it gives you a ballpark of the fact that they were very active. I'm still anxious and interested, and this isn't one of the bigger things. But I'm just interested about it. Is who the backup quarterback's going to be? Like Gardner I was, Minshew's gone. He's gone to the Raiders. I was looking forward to that one. Potentially. Mm. Jameis Winston would be great. I would no. Love uh, yes. Stop I would that. Love I, I cheer for the story. You know how I good could, the preseason would be? 
Oh James. my gosh! The I, boom boom room. Oh. Do you know how nervous Robbie Bourne would be about putting Jameis yes. Winston in the boom boom yes, room? Yes, I do. On this uh, one. They would not allow us no. to have him. Nope. Robbie works with the Titans and helps us. Yeah, work. there's no way they would allow us to have him. Mm-mm. Puff would, I think. Puff no, would. no, Puff that would. is a liability waiting to happen. <laughs> I, He'd answer too, man. He'd James answer every is damn question. Too, I feel like Jameis is too like low key for Will Levis in a quarterback room. You so, know what I mean? Like like Levis is intense. All the time when it comes to ball. But guess what, though? Everybody, like his teammates rave about rave about him. That and his work ethic about James Winston. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just talking about completely different personalities. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's good, though. Sometimes it's, a little, yeah. good. A good little yin and yang. Jacoby Brissett, is he still out there? What's his deal? Oh, he's still out there? He's out there. Yeah. Really? He's number two behind uh, Ryan. Ryan. I, said, I started to say Ryan Leaf. Right. Well, that'd be something. That would be something. Ryan Tannehill, number one uh, guy left, according to Pro Football Focus. Red Gordon um, brought up someone. Who did he bring up? He said C.J. Beathard, if he were to get cut by the Jags. Ah. That would be a good one. I like that. Bring him back home. There you Mm. go, By the way, speaking of Rhett, Ryan. Gordy B. He will be in studio tomorrow at 420. Nice. Mike Dettelier. At 320. Will join us. Well, he knows how to LSU program, and uh, and we'll start in on some of the draft picks. Yeah, um, he's followed the draft forever, and um, there's he knows Cushenberry of... really well. Yep, yeah. that'll be great. And then, uh, I mean, those two LSU wide receivers, we could talk with him about. There I do. Um, so that'll be fun. Also, the SEC tournament coming up. We will be out there at Bridgestone Arena live Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from three until six. Slay will do his best to pop up. I'm gonna pop up. He's going to pop up. I'm pop up shop. Pop in, pop in and out. Yeah. I'm going to pop, 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 pop up. Like the <laughs> popping fresh guy? What, uh, do you know what your responsibilities are? Uh, as, as of as, yes. As a tournament. Time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he just, you just don't remember it's in your email, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think I brought up, uh, I can't pull it out and fast enough. The the sheet of paper with the bracket with the games. Yeah. Yeah. So I brought it back. And I brought it purposely to give to y'all. And it's in my bag somewhere. Look what I did today. Well, I guess we'll man. find out tomorrow. I just draw it on the back of my notebook. back here doodling. That is really good, too. <laughs> Your lines are all I mean, really straight. Dude, that's, that is. I take it seriously, y'all. If you're going to do something, do it correctly. We see. Oh. That's that's good. Like, are you needing the tournament bracket, Slay? <laughs> no, no, I have it. He has it. He brought it back. No, for but me. he has He's that like with his schedule right now. Or this just is your schedule. Okay, no, it's no, with his schedule. schedule. Yeah, the yeah. schedule. Yeah, because yeah. the games. Some ESPN gonna have some games. Yeah. There you All go. All right then. What a day, man. <laughs> Roster <laughs> changes. It's going down, baby. Titans loading up. Spots being filled. Real. Yep. I like it. I love it. It's like Peter Brady we, said. When it's time to change, it. you got to rearrange. We knew they'd be active. Time to evolve, baby. Of course, Peter Brady at that time was going through puberty. Is that what the Titans are doing? It might be. Evolving. That's a good analogy. Titans are going through puberty. Mm-hmm. And it is time to change. <laughs> Got to be arranged. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's next, huh? That would be the three HL after party. Do we need to be out? Uh, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, appreciate y'all listening, man. It's gonna be a fun week. Um, and uh, listen, tell your fr- tell a buddy, tell a friend about three HL and one zero four five. The sun. We love y'all. Good night. God bless. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be y'all.